Absolute breed. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Oh, here we go. So, finally, we will be here. No rees. They can't re anymore. If somebody rees and it's an admin re, I'm gonna go crazy. And start yelling really hard. You don't want to hear Clav yelling. So, game one between Canada A and Finland A is on the way. I'm rhyming like a boss right now. So let's see, what do we have? Let's see, so let me just do this so I can see who is in the flank and not. So we have Vili's on the flank as the Chinese on this side. He will be playing against Hira with the Spanish flank. So not ideal now, not ideal for Canada. Spanish flank is really hard to play. I need a good tower rusher to actually pull it off. We have Pocket on Chris versus Pocket on Max. So Persian versus Chinese. Persians definitely a lot better. <laughs> Chinese is obviously pretty good, it's a really good pocket civilization, but Persian is probably the second best or third best in the game, so you will be happy with that. Already a lot of X is happening though, I guess. Yeah, here we go. Already Mental is on the floor, and he's already stealing the boy. Here we go. Trying to get it. We have uh, Pike trying to deny it, but it's pretty hard, it's pretty hard. On this side though, Max and a go for it as well. Oh, with her getting it. Oh my god, the clutch arrow, look at that. Oh, beautiful, but now on this side though, Zupi trying to deny it, they're all trying to stop Mentalist. Really, really hard, obviously, the Eagle Warrior doing a lot. Max, maybe try to go for the second boar, but looks like, yeah, Mentalist will get his, this war in for Swam Boys. So Swam people are pretty happy with this one, gonna get it under, kill it now, all good there. Versus his, his second boar is here, so he might even secure that. But now Veliz is here, Max is here, the boar is open. Then it can be GG. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Chris. That is true. That is very, very true. So, let's see now. What is going on? Billy, yeah, he's gonna get it now. It's pretty easy, right? He's gonna get it now. Why not? And Max is there to support as well. And Yellow Scout. Yeah, Harris Scout was pushing there, so he was already prepared to get lame by the looks of it. Max even stealing two sheep as well. That's gonna be good. Vili is with the Chinese, obviously, he does need those boards. He will have triple board with the, with China, which is pretty good. I, I don't think they will stop it, because my, uh, Max is here as well. And it's kind of hard to stop two scouts. Maybe we'll see a miracle from Mera, let's see. Nope, he's gonna give it up. Gonna go for a fight with Max, and Max gonna take a few hits, and then just go back. Yep, here we go, as he's doing that. So, laming is done, I hope. Zupi gonna be down on one board as well. Oh, but Zupi gonna counter wave. Never mind. Laming's still going on. We have Swam as well here. Are you gonna try to block it? He will definitely try to block it. Gonna try to hit it now. And trying to block the boar. Oh, he's trying to get it. Can he get it? And now just hitting free hits over on Zupi. But Zupi's so near. Yeah, he can't kill the scout. He has to block the boar as much as he can. Zupi trying to micro it. Ooh, who can micro better? It's very, very close. 20 HP on that scout. He's trying to. Oh, he did block it! Is he blocking? Hit it now! Come on! Oh, Swam's gonna deny it! Look at that! Beautiful! Zupi cannot fight, he's low HP. No way he can get it. And Swam, just showing us why, why, why he's called the Swam. Also going for 10 gold. Looks like a Drush will happen. And on triple boar, Drush is pretty good, you know? Also having this extra deer. He can have a really nice food economy going into this. So now, finally, we can actually start... Looking at the civilization and the matchups we have, and what are we expecting, and who actually has a nice edge on these. So, let's start from Slamboy, the triple boar master here, playing as the Huns. Huns, obviously, just Huns. Everybody knows Huns, not much to say there. He will be against the Zupi on Huns as well, so Hun Mirror on this side, that's actually pretty good. But triple boar versus one boar will hurt Zupi a little bit. He's already getting the deer down, so I don't think he will feel very sad about that. Now, Hera already up to the Feudal Age, while, you know, we're talking about all that laming. He is actually on 22 villagers, so... Might be going for the Man at Arms, but yeah, it's a little bit too late for Man at Arms, so looks like he would be going for Scouts. Yeah, honestly, this looks like a Scout boot, triple farm down, taking the double Wumber Camp, so... He will definitely be doing Scouts, and he's Spanish against Chinese. So, from Villies... Oh, look at Villies go, damn, that is so far. From Villies, I'm expecting straight up into Archers. And since he's taking the Stragglers, means he will definitely be doing Archers for us today. I see on Pocket, we have, as you already said, Max and Chris. So Chinese versus Persian. Persian definitely having the edge. And then we have Pike on Spanish versus Mentalist on Aztec. And that is where things go bad. 
Aztec is hard to pull off. Aztec is definitely hard to pull off. As the Drush entering Zuppi's base, but he's walled. Pretty good stuff from him. He will be secured against his triple militia. And looks like Zuppi is gonna go for scouts. 23 up, not taking any gold. Oh, never mind. As they say, he is taking gold. Already wall. I thought maybe he would go for this one to be safe, but no, he will go for the big one. And that means he will be doing archers as well, so that's all good. Let's see now, Hera up. Here we go, stable coming down. That's pretty expected. Now, Pike is going up on 27, so I assume he's not gonna go Conks. And that's good. Going Conks against Aztec is always the wrong choice because your monks are really, really strong. You have to be for Canada because of Slam. Ooh, it's a hard decision, you know. It's a hard decision. Ooh, gonna go for a bill now. Zupi might lose it. Really nice high ground fight. He might block it. Come on. He's already few edge. No, not gonna block it. And Slam is following up with the double entry. So, rush into flush. And this is really good because y you can see him not. Him having the triple boar allows him to not build any farms at all. So, he's following up with a perfect economy to transition into archers and have really, really nice fast archers coming out. We now here we see Chris even milling this deer, man. Damn, that is that is painful, yeah. Milling the deer, obviously not being able to push because he had to help with the scout. Hey, toast, what's up? Now we have Hera. Yeah, already double scout out. That's all good. One here as well, chasing down Max, and he's gonna get it. Max still dark edge. Yep, Max losing the scout. That is very good. And ooh, Swam so still going really aggressive over to Zupi. <laughs> Zupi really taking a lot of damage on this one, but now the double archer is coming out. So he has to clean up this, and he knows, he definitely knows Slam is on archers. So he doesn't need to actually go forward, he can just clean up the rush to get his economy in check. Now Mantle is going up on 26 plus 2, that's a really fast boom up time. Much needed quad daily. <laughs> nice man, but how was Austria? Okay, let's see now. Yeah, deleting those. Obviously, one archer can easily clean that up, but he's already going forward. So I'm trapping the wall. He already has some archers of his own. And I think Mantle is to actually. Yeah, he's gonna go forward with two villagers. So I think he will be dropping the monasteries here. I don't think he will be monk rushing the pockets. Although he might, but I think this actually will be one like between them at least, or like a really far one. I'm not really entirely sure, but he needs to be careful. Maybe just because he feels comfortable with Slam's dealing with Zuppi, he could actually go full on Pike. We'll have to see how that goes. But now look at that fight. One villager going down already from Zuppi. That's a really nice trade. One militia for one villager as he's gonna pull back, sniping the archer. On this side though, what is going on? Where are the scouts from Hera? I don't even see them. Oh, he's in the back. Yeah, he's trying to kill some vills, but Vili's playing is beautiful. Look at Vili's KDA's 2-0. I haven't lost anything at all. So pretty good stuff from him so far, and yeah, he's not hitting Max as well. I think I literally can't miss. What? How is that possible? I've had tons of scenarios where, like, for example, if a deer's like, if, if you push a deer, and then it's like, start running away, and you shoot it, it misses. I'm not even kidding. I'm not kidding. That has happened a lot. Like, I obviously can't find a wreck here, but that has happened a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm really... 100% confident that, that that has happened. When they just mess up the deer war. It doesn't miss. But then it like... It, it, it doesn't hit as well. I don't know. It's weird. I will... Yeah, if the deer is moving... Then the villagers sometimes don't hit. So the deer speed is 6. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, you see? Stefan's here. Help me, Stefan! The wolves didn't miss. Well, the thing is, the deer needs to come here, and then he needs to turn like this. Like, uh, exactly at the moment. He needs to go in the op opposite direction. Not like a line, but like this. You know, from for the side. I don't know. That's what I've seen, but look at this now! The four- Oh, he's running right into that! Oh, already losing a knight! No, this Monkrush might work. This Monkrush definitely might work. Maybe it's because of the 1.6 speed. Maybe it's because of that. I don't know. But two knights already down. The Titanic coming out. What is going on? Finland just diving it right now. And here we go. This is what Zupi needed to do. He needs to come here. And Slam needs to come here as well. But already two knights done. He can clean up this pseudo army with those two knights alone. And these villagers might even be saved. 
Maybe it's because of the 1.6 speed, you know? But I, it does happen. I've definitely had that happen to me. I'm not joking. Like, how can I imagine things like that? Ooh, doesn't have- He has a fate on this one. And Zupi, really, I mean Pike, nice focus on this one. Really good. Now it's a very messy fight where he will probably lose all of these monks because he doesn't have Sanctity yet, so... I'm not too really sure why Mento is going so greedy with the Sanctity play. Oh, disappearing. A Tetero, which is probably like... I, I don't know. I really don't pay attention to that detail. But definitely have uh, had scenarios where it misses. I can 100% tell that. Damn, we're not, we haven't even looked at this side though, like... So much. Chaos. Ah, okay, so let's see now. I need, I need to focus on the game. Oh, Hera denied the stable. That's a lot of wood being thrown off. He's trying to quick wall now. Chris is here in the position with some knights, but these archers do a lot of damage. He needs to hold until he can get the cast. So it's already up as well, but now I said these two knights would do massive damage. Even three knights, he can actually clean them up. He actually did clean them up. Let's see now. Slam? Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to get it. He will get a knight here now. And Scanada just dominating right now. On even on this side, I mean they're taking more damage, but Chris is coming here. He has a lot of knights. He's trying to pull on to damage, trying to hit kill the 1v2. We'll see the lot of archers though. But Hera will be up to the cancel as soon as any bloodlines, so maybe that will be nice. Now Hera nice to pull the villagers back on this side though. Zupe is half dead already. Look at the forward from Mento. Is Tram coming out? He's gonna ram down the staples. And he's still making knights, what are you doing, Pike? Pike needs to play way more arena to be able to stop this, I mean... This forward from Mento is pretty good, and just not spawning, it hurts them a lot. And now there we go, Vilis with the archers. Oh, he's gonna go into gold? Yeah, but Heron this side taking a lot of damage as well. Now a huge fight happening, Chris will win it, but these archers are in such a good position. He has plus one in bloodline, so definitely can tank a lot more. And here we go, the sweet one happening, Zupi is definitely gonna lose this. This knight's just so painful. I swam up to the castle edge. Vili's up to the castle edge. Sanctity incoming from Mentos. There's no way he's gonna die now. Look at the damage right now happening. Chris killing everything right now. He's just one way doing this while Hera tries to survive. Let's see, Vili is triple archer incoming. He knows he has to put the pressure on. What an intense game so far. Wow, we have forward Monkers happening. We have Slam waving, then Slam killing Zupi off. Now the stable from Pike going down. He's already with double defensive modest. He wants to go for the Monk fight, and that might not be good if Slam comes with some crossbowmen. So Pike looking in a pretty bad position, to be honest. I mean, look at that. Already triple TC out from Mentalis. He's doing the typical Monks into boom. And that's a very, very strong play if you can get it done correctly. Now, Crossbow and Barkin and Bolsa incoming from Slam, so he's gonna be happy with this. Getting chased by Zupi, he will just go and re reunite with Mentalist. On this side, though, I don't know why the defensive tower hasn't come down from Hera, I'm gonna be honest here. Why hasn't he towered the gold yet? Like, he does have a stone, right? Oh, it, oh, maybe he already towered and went down. Okay, that, that might actually be the case, so... Doesn't have enough, so I assume he already towered and just went down. That's a little bit unfortunate. He has to go for some kind of bag gold. Yeah, he's gonna go for this far back gold. Oh no, never mind. Going for the Wombra Camp, but this soldier is going somewhere mysterious. Let's see now. Yeah, Mento is in a driving seat right now. Bike is in a bad spot. Oh, but now! Oh, the miss my. Oh! The high ground! That was the high ground giving him it. On an even ground, he would have not got that ever. Definitely would not have got up the high ground just being so good. Now Max with with a lot of knights. Not a lot of, but with some knights we lose with a lot of crossbows though. Hera not plus two yet, so now redemption for incoming from Mento is that will deny the Manganels as well. A lot of pressure still from Pike being dropped down at that DC. And still a very, very painful game so far. Yeah, look at already the Canada side looking so dominant right now and Everybody said, you know, Finland got the team play, Finland got everything, but look at it now, just pure skill outplay. Zupi, like, is, is just dead right now, you know, Sai will just destroy him. And Pike is also not looking that great, to be honest. Definitely not looking that great. He's getting atonement as well to convert these, these from Pike. Now, Pike getting atonement as well, but Pike, but he's already losing the forward TC. He's out boom as well, Mento is 66 villagers already, the most in the game. Only one actually, the hope, the hope right now, is our sweet Max. 
80 villagers, guys. 80 villagers. He's going at it. Showing us the Persian boom in action. He's going for the full package right now. Look at Chris. Only 50... Like 60 villagers, you could say, is going very, very heavy in tonight to be able to save Hera. And then maybe Max can actually carry this game. That's probably the only way they can actually pull this back. As now my fight, Max fighting out here with Chris, but... Upgrade-wise, Chris has, he has ballistics. He has plus one attack, plus two armor. But Vilvis have a lot of crossbowmen. And I don't think Chris can take this 1v2 as Hera doesn't really have any army at all. On this side though, Pike not pulling the trigger yet. He doesn't even have Sanctity, so... He can't really pull the trigger, because these monks will just get a one-shot by the Mangano. Thanks for the follow. So, let's see now. Uh, Chris just chilling with the Knights on the high ground. Market coming down as well from Hera. No. No. He did too stable. He did too stable, he made like six Knights. Six to seven Knights, and then went full boom. That's why they won. He just went full boom, you know, and he started adding knights at like minute 24 ish. That's why he's so far at an eco. Chris did too stable and he kept too stable. Because you can still add this villager number if you do too stable with Persia. You just, it's pretty easy. Did well knights. Yeah, yeah. He did like initial a lot and then did, didn't make a lot. I'm sorry, but I need to focus now as. Actually, Pike did pull the trigger and look at that, he did actually pull it back, getting the Mangano and convert, killing the monk. But now Pike going to get to, going to lose his army. We have Chris still fighting it 1v2. Manto is up to the Imperial Age! Here we go! Faster than Zupi gets Castle Age and Slam, you know, harassing Max now. Coming with some crossbows, some cavalry archers, going for the more team-oriented way and trying to help out his teammates as he knows Hera and Chris is struggling a little bit but Chris already 72 kills so that's good Let's see now Max if he can click up and even try to mirror these Eagle Warriors otherwise Canada looking dominant just unstoppable right now I mean Zupi got completely destroyed by Slam and it's that's just Slam being Slam and really, really everybody looking in pretty top-notch shape now finally Slam will get cleaned up on those carry archers and, you know, they're still holding this side. Hera has some knights. Chris has some knights. Still trying to hold as much as they can. And you can see the villager number. Only two people actually having a boom. 72 villagers for release. 102 for the max. So that, they, those are the guys who are actually trying to hold the game right now. On their shoulders. Let's see now. We have Hera coming in with some knights. Yeah, I guess they're just going to camp the hill now. Maybe go for the fight. Honestly, I think they can even take the fight right now. Yeah, they're gonna go for it. Here we go. It's always gonna come for the back. He's always trying to surround. The house should get deleted immediately. Delete the house. Oh, oh, a little bit too late from Era. Yeah, now he has to delete these all. He has to delete them. Yeah, every, everything's gonna get deleted right now. They just have to. And they're gonna go for this huge fight. Who's gonna win it? It's really close. We have a lot of camels from the max, but so much nice. The monkey in the back as well. And max clicking in Imperial now. Here we go. The crossbow's getting surrounded, he's trying to focus far as much as he can, but I see way more green in this than I see Max. And I think that in the end, they should win this, although Max coming with some reinforcements, it's a very close fight. And actually, no, Chris gonna get pushed back, it's hard to see the green and teal color. But yeah, Max coming with like four reinforcements and Vili still surviving with some crossbow, man. We'll actually pull him back, and damn, Harris still not looking in that good of a position, but now Elite Eagle Warriors incoming from Mentalist. He already has a ton of barracks, barracks out, so he would start putting that raiding pressure on. And now we have Chris going up to the Imperial as well, following up one minute later than the Max. But Vilis might put some pressure on him though, he's coming in with the Max together. We still have Slam harassing on that side with the Cavalry Archer, Spike trying to boom. Not being that successful though, and they will completely finish out Zupi, yeah. The brain, like the first Eagle Army is gonna come out to Zupi, and Zupi's dead. Once that army hits, yeah, he's gonna go for the castle drop, but now we're gonna meet the eagles, and him having the 4 plus 2 armor is enough to clean everything of this up, twice at least. Now, Vili stopped at the Imperial now, so that's that would be quite good. Hera on 58 villagers only, so pretty much in the same situation as Zupi is, but now Slam up as well. Let's see, if he, is he adding any stables? He has one so far, so might be going full carry archers. Still trying to put some harassment on the max. The game is pretty close, actually. But still, I mean, Zupi is going to be completely demolished. And if you look at Hera, 
He's not as dead as Zupi is right now. He's quite behind, but he's definitely not as dead. As Zupi will be completely, whoops, completely demolished. Max up in Cavalier. He's coming with some monks and some conquistadors trying to deal with the eagles, but that's even going to be such a long shot to just deal with the mass eagles that's coming out from them. Now, Vili's dropping the forward castle on Hera. Hera has some knights. He can pop him out. Probably should. Why not? Grab two villagers to, at best. Still a small win for the big world. Vili is just with some crossbowmen now. And Max, yeah, I mean, they're kind of pushing back completely together with Vili. He's trying to put some pressure on Chris. And Chris, going white caps. What? Adding a ton of white caps since he's off his main gold, I guess. Maybe that's why. Yeah, adding a ton of white cap indeed. Look at that. That's a huge number of Chinese white cap I'm seeing. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Maybe that's some next level play I'm not seeing. But now the Eagle's coming out and... Ooh, that's gonna be hurtful. The Elise might lose all of this army before he hits Imperial and gets the Arbos. And now the houses get deleted and these Eagles will definitely swarm him over. And Max already going back. But on this side, they do save Zupi with his 48 Vulture economy. So that will be very bad as well from them. Now Chris played Burning Incoming, Slam already hammering it down with the Mega now, and still, is Slam going with Cavalry Archers? No, he's gonna go Cavalier, he's gonna go full Cavalier, and that is the strongest hunt play, go for those Paladins, show dominance, and kill everyone. But now Vili is gonna start pushing versus Hera, yeah, he's even off his gold still, and our boss Incoming, Conscription and Chemistry, so all the upgrades he needs, obviously. Oh, now Chris finding it out here with Max, even getting pushed back. Obviously those white cap not that good. Now Pike up to the Imperial as well, so maybe it's gonna be a comeback hour for Finland. They did not look so good 10 minutes ago, but they're looking pretty okay now. Zupi only went quite behind, but even he's dropping the castle on Slam's face. So trying to put as much pressure as he can. Let's see, now Eric kind of chilling, yeah, he's still booming, trying to get his economy up as he did get hit quite a lot. More Conquistadors incoming from Pike. Still trying to harass as much as he can over versus Slam. And the castle will definitely go up, so Slam might get denied off of this gold, which will be very, very, very painful in the long run. Now we got two markets coming down from Slam. And there's an extra gold, which he should take in the future as well. But getting raided now, Max in the pa I didn't see him get the Paladin. He already has Paladins, guys. Look at that. Max just carrying his team on his shoulders right now, full paladin, compared to Chris, who is full white calf? I don't get it. Can somebody please explain, why is Chris full white calf? He's barely keeping up with the paladin, I mean, look at this, dealing 4 damage, and he's still going not full heavy camo, but full white calf. I am very confused. Is he actually swinging? No, he has 1k gold. No, but he's not. He has 1k gold. I, I don't get it. What is he actually trying to do now? Eagle with Tomento is coming out to clean these Pikes Conquistadors. And, I mean, it's still looking pretty even. Yeah, Finland is slowly harassing as much as they can. Villagers dropping from the Canada side a little bit. Even Hera losing the DC to the Trebuchet now. And Hera is actually... Like, he has 30 more Villagers, but... Few paladins in this economy might be very, very painful. Try to drop some kind of quick wall, but outcome stay between HD will be. No, 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 no. These guys don't do those mistakes, trust me. These guys don't do those mistakes. Now, Mento is still with a lot of Eagle Warriors har harassing like crazy, putting on nice pressure. Mento is started trade, Pike going for Cavalier. Mento is Garwin Wars incoming from him. And yeah, I mean, Max with the Paladin is doing a lot of damage, and honestly, Slam cannot get up to that stage. I'm still confused. Yeah, Chris finally getting heavy camo. Full white cap. Still. Full white cap. For the like last five minutes, he's full white cap. I mean, he's holding the Paladin at bay, but. Damn. In inequality in Ewo? What do you mean? This is definitely not the game with the inequality of evil. Yeah, still a lot of raiding over on. Zupi's on 37 villagers, guys. Zupi's on 37 villagers. He is so far behind. Now, Paladins against the White Cow. Again, not sure what he's thinking, but definitely not taking the best of the fights. Max still harassing with some Paladins. 
all over the place. Same with Zupi, so Slam actually taking a lot of damage. Now, Pike is upping Paladin as well. What? We're gonna see double Paladin from the Finland side. Double Paladin from the Finland side. Hera is 30 item. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. But look at that. Double Paladin. We've been coming in. Now, this hard boss against Heavy Cam, obviously, quite good. But the Eagle Warriors are there to tank up that damage. Another cancel from Billy's incoming. Trying to save it against the Eagle Warriors. And Billy's really needs to get in the Chukanu. Chukanu a lot better versus these type of units than Arbo is. Arbo is really not that strong of a unit overall. So now we have Whitecap coming out. Here we go. Gonna snap from Billy's. They're all going Whitecap. <laughs> it's really pretty funny. Like Whitecap on this side, Whitecap on that side. It's like the age of white cat right now. Oh, see now Zupi is still putting some harassment over on the slam. He's kind of regaining this back control now, going for his third goal and taking the extra, as I said. Zupi is still quite dead though, 44 villagers, but so is Hera. I mean Hera is not really in much better position than Zupi right now, so it's kind of a 3v3 as Zupi is getting the elite Chukunu. Pike will get the Paladin done. So they're hitting all the important upgrades they need right now. They really are hitting all the important upgrades. But still, I mean, looks like both teams are actually in this game, and that's a very this is a very interesting game so far. Yeah, true, Faltir. Very true, but not doesn't happen that much in team games. I mean, White Cav really should not be used in team games. Cavalry are just better. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Especially with Spanish trade, Faltir. Especially with Spanish trade. Ooh, but now our boys. Might get caught out guard a little bit. Uh, though I don't think the white cat will do much, but now it looks like he's gonna go full on raid style with the white cat, and that'll be very, very good now. Billy's getting the rocketry as well. We finally got Mento is going for more trade. I mean, going for more raiding. Trying to actually hit the trade by the looks of it. Yeah, he's moving. Oh no, he's actually gonna move towards Zupi, so gonna put Zupi even more behind. Zupi's trying to reboom, he gets hit. He tries to reboom, he gets hit. Pretty, pretty messy, and now we have Max finding it out here with Slam. Slam obviously missing a lot of upgrades to Paladin and the plus 3 attack, only now getting the Paladin one. So that is quite, quite a long way to actually done. But now Pike, ooh, Paladin. Yeah, maybe, but now Pike with the Paladins. Gonna try to clean up these Eagles, and he probably will Paladin. Just such a strong unit overall. Wait, what? Oh my god! Pike didn't have plus two! How did- What? He didn't have plus two! He gets Paladin, and then he gets plus two! Oh my god. This- This guy got some balls. Talk about Pike style, you know? Don't- Don't get plus two, just get Paladin. Forget the plus two, not- Don't even think about the plus four. Just Paladin. You know? But still, okay, we already have Max trying to go with the T-Wall now. Finally, Vilis with the Elite Chukanu, yeah, he's gonna push hard with these Paladins here. And now, honestly, Chris is... I don't know, he's not having the impact, like, he does have... He's fully boom, but he's making a white cam and throwing them away, you know, just trading them against everything else. So, not really sure what he's trying to do there. Not achieving as much as he probably wishes he would. Now the Paladin from Max still finding it out here. <laughs> we got Mantos with a lot of Eagle Warriors. Chris with some heavy camels and the white guy. Ooh, is white guy getting wrecked? Yeah, definitely. I mean, look at them. They're like half of a paladin. Half the attack, half the HP, you know. Just half of a paladin, really. If not, and you know, obviously having no armor as well. Uh, like minus two main armor on melee means that they just get shredded. But now Slam coming in with a paladin as well. They're gonna try to push and get this gold back. And honestly, it really depends who can come in back in the game. I think Hera is gonna come back way sooner. None of them actually having any trade, like not nor Hera nor Zupi by the looks of it. So that's a bit of a mistake in my opinion. Who's winning? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. It's pretty close. 200 point different now. A huge fight happening. Here we go. Max against the Eagles. We got Chukun Arbos in the back. We got Slam with some Paladins coming out. Chris with White Cap and Heavy Camel. Damn, this is very, very nice. Big fight for both of the teams. They have to win this. They have to get this gold back. They have to kill this castle. Whoa, here we go. 
Here we go. They're pushing back, yeah. Ordi will be pulling the, pulling the plug. Gonna go back completely, realizing they cannot deal with Swam's Paladins. And he will just go back to his second castle, giving up that gold. And now Herald or Chris will be able to mine that. On this side, though, not a lot happening. They're still harassing Slam. Slam trying to force a defense. He has 140 villagers, so enough to keep him going. Canada has better trade. That is true. That is true. But it's not that big of a difference right now. It's about 10 trade ish cards. Where is Chukanus? Well, he's getting some, but he still has mainly full one Arbois. So once they lose this Arbois, probably we'll see, we will see the Chukanu. But now what a white cap heavy camel still here. Let's see now Vilis, yeah, he's gonna lose that castle 100 percent and he's already given it up. Realizing he'd rather go for the next one. Now Mentor is getting siege ram. That's gonna be a very good upgrade as well for pushing. And yeah, Chris still full white cap, full heavy camel, just chilling right now as look at the trade now. Like the trade is just blowing up for Canada. And honestly on this side as well, but on this side you just only see kind of Vilis and Max. Training as well, so they're like about the oh, I mean, Chris. I don't know when you have full Spanish trade. Well, the thing is that does Hera have full Spanish trade? No, you know, does Zupi have Spanish trade? No, Pike seven trade cards, meaning no, it's still nice. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Come on, double mining camp. Oh, drop before they even secure the goal. They want that goal, they just do want that. What wanted. Yeah, exactly. I know the upgrades done as well, but now Pike still dealing with the Eagles here. So I'm just being really busy dealing with Pike and even even Zoopy, even though he's still castle edge, you know, cutting around with the carry on should trying to do the damage he wants. Now let's see what's happening on this side though. Mento is yeah, he's kinda chilling. Just harassing with Eagle Wars. But this is such an important high ground that they have, you know. It's first of all it's a high ground. It denies the gold and it gives the trebuchet a little bit of an edge in the treb fight, so I actually like it. I actually like it a lot. Let's see what's happening now. Hera humming with a full white cap. Oh my god. It's like 50 white cap. <laughs> what is happening? We have 50 white cap. 30 white cap. They're all going white cap. What is this Canada's like like trademark white cap combination coming out? Look at that. They're all full white cap. And now Hera's gonna go for the dive. Here we go. He's gonna try to dive it, yeah? Oh, he's gonna go for it. No, pulling it back again. That's what he's trying to do, but that's a lot of white cap on that side. Let's see on this side now, once he's getting cleaned up. So I'm gonna try to dive actually and try to kill Zupi's castle, but Zupi up to Imperial Age. Here we go, that's gonna be the breaking point. Zupi is up. I don't know, I don't know, boom. It's confusing, they have the trade, they cannot go for it, but they still do go for it. Yeah, they're going quite heavy on it and. Hera coming in with a lot of white cap, Chris coming in with a lot of white cap, they're trying to put the pressure on now. Bomber tower from the least to get some kind of mass control over now, Max. Oh, Paladin reinforcement is here, and then those white cap are falling like flies right now. Look at Hera's KDA, 140 loss, Chris 215 loss. Oh, what? This game is just absolutely beautiful. Chukono everywhere, Arbalest everywhere from Belize. He's fighting in the back now. Max pushing it back. Halberdier is all incoming from Belize. Not fully upgraded yet, but still versus those white cat will do a lot of damage on this side now. Slam fighting it out with Pike. We have Paladin against Paladin. Zupi gonna go full carry out here probably. And just oh, unbelievable right now. Look at the Paladin versus Paladin fight happening. Both having equal numbers, but now looks like Sam gonna come on top. Pike will be forced to regroup as he's mining his third gold now as well. Now on this side though, they're pushing hard, the Paladin in the front, we do have... Oh my god, just unbelievable, the Chukon in the back heading all the free damage right now. Look at Pike swinging, Zupi now wants to get him back in the game as fast as possible. We have huge fights happening between both of the teams on both sides. Here as well, Castle going down, Swam is pushing that back, but let's get back to the big fight. As look at these Paladins, they're just demolishing the white cap. Hera almost Imperial as well, by the way. So he's gonna be back in the game. No trade yet from him, but Mento is 45, 34 for Sam and 27 for Chris. On our other side, similar numbers, Pike a little bit slacking, but other than that, plus minus similar numbers for the three players. And now this Paladin is still coming in. Gonna go back actually now. Did take all the fight with the white cap, securing the gold. So that will be quite good as he's as he is dropping more bomber towers right now. Being the guy with the planet, this is going into full blown warfare right now. We have everybody fighting everywhere, chaos everywhere, Imperial hitting from everyone. One hour game already, and it's not even 
Not even everyone Imperial right now. As Herod does get the Imperials uh, any second. Zupi already in it. Still full wine cap coming out from Chris. I have no idea what's happening. He has a lot of gold. Okay, not a lot of gold, but he has some gold. Ton of food, ton of wood. He could be swinging for days. Let's see, Hera. Yeah, he has a ton of resources as well, so we will get into those cavalry shortly. I hope, at least. Let's see now, Zupi, what does he have? Everybody's already stacked on economy like crazy. Obviously getting in that post imperial now, Max pushing with the Paladin so hard, we had a wild trebuchet. Hera definitely will be losing this castle in the next 5 seconds. We have Swam on this side as well, same with Pike and Zupi going for Albert there uh, just to deal with the Paladin numbers coming out and what is Mento is doing right now? I really don't see Mento, he's bringing some Eagles to the action on this side but just not having the numbers right now, 33 military, I don't see any of it. Maybe he's raiding on this side, let's see, no, he's not even raiding on this side. So just not having the impact right now that he should have. Bringing in some Eagles which are completely getting shut down by these Paladins. Look at the numbers now, the white cam as well, not that good. And now full Chukano forward still coming out. It is just unbelievable how much action we're seeing just on the first game, guys. This is just the first game of this series and we're already seeing full blown attack, nobody's caring, they're all going in and giving their best, unbelievable, now ooh slam with a lot of power and same with Pike, they're gonna go for the fight, we have Halberd there from Zupi coming out, now he's gonna get forced back, now gonna pull them back, here we go, and one oh, unbelievable, there's so much action happening in this game, they're just not stopping, they're just not giving up, they're just going at it all in, and Increase through the game, maybe. Look at the bodies. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just unbelievable right now. And now Chris is here with the Elite Chukunu Max upgraded. He's here, man. No, with the White, white Cap thing. He, he, he's here. Chukunu coming in. He's now gonna deal with those Paladins. Now we get Eagle Fort coming out of the Chukunu zone. Look at that. He's gonna completely surround those. Try to get that. Might even drive the trebuchets, but the Bomber Towers are there. So you're doing a lot of damage on this one as well. And honestly, I don't know what they can do. I don't know what they can do. A lot of damage happening. Let me just check Sam's perspective. Yeah, he's already running low on economy. Pike pushing it back here with Zupi. Not working that good. What is happening? And I honestly think they're gonna get pushed back. This game is great indeed. And not sure what's happening on that. And Swam kind of fight it down with Pike on that side. I need to put Do Not Disturb actually. So you guys can't see what's happening on that side. But yeah, I think it's... I think the game's already over, we do have real time happening, so is this Arabia? Yes it is, and looks like the Canada actually did call the GG. And we probably we're just sitting in a spec way right now, but what in a game? I mean what in a game right now. Yeah, we have the Paladins breaking in, the same with the Arboist. They can't really deal with it now. We got Chris dropping a quick gaze, trying to rewall re this as fast as possible, but looks like not looking that good honestly for them. I mean look at the damage coming out. Chris with the Chukano trying to take the high ground, but they just can't stop the push. And I'm still uh, no questioning. I'm still questioning the, the white cap play. Like now we have even Slam going for a full skirmisher. But he just can't stop the Siege Jam alone. He's finding 1v2. While Mento is just kind of helping with Eagle Warriors. But then again, he doesn't have any army at all. He's not putting any pressure. And here we go. The GG's get called from everyone. What a game! We saw forward monks. Oh my god. Oh. What a game. <laughs> hey, Huna, you're welcome, man. What an absolute monster game. You know, we got Zupi down in minute 20. We got then Pike getting forward and him losing the TC, getting pushed back. Then Mento is with the fast Imperial, but the other side getting really, really forced back. Hera got completely out of the game. Then the questionable White Cav push from Chris and then just Finland just being such a powerhouse. They do secure game one. Wow, that was absolutely beautiful. Let's look at the Vildrai. Everybody was boomed up at the end except Hera on 109, but... Just absolutely beautiful. Largest army, Vilis. 100 army. 100 army. Yeah, that's true, Yuna. Feels bad. 100 army for him. Just, just mind-blowing, to say the least. Let's see what's happening here. Economy. Yeah, looks like Chris was swinging. And looks like he was swinging. He was swinging Slam a little bit. You know, Max was also swinging. Hero was getting a lot of swing. So obviously they were going for the more team play based options as they should have. And look at Max KDA, 675 units killed. 
Oh, just phew, same with Vili's 500 units killed. Unbelievable. Nobody's even close to them. Nobody's close to these two monsters. Just unbelievable. I don't even know what to say. Just such an amazing and world-class game. So let me just stay in the score. And that was only game one, guys. That was only game one. Only game one. I really wish I could see his POV. I really like this kind of the team though. Ah, oh, just both teams unbelievable, man. Both teams unbelievable. Let me just put do not disturb so I don't see that. Okay. That slam guy. Terra and Zupi both got wrecked in the early game, but Zupi brought it back and Terra really, really never did. I agree. I agree, yeah. I agree. Like stream wise, yeah, it would be nice. Damn. That was really something, you know? Oh, man. Unbelievable. Get back to the centering practice. See it, Eddie. See it, you know. Canada win. Oh, wait, no. Ah, I always mess this up. Ah, uh, because like when I when 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 I open the screen board, I don't see which one I have to edit. That was a misclick. Ooh, so it looks like chaos pit will be the home map. Damn. Chaos, but that's a that's a very aggressive map as well. I mean, they might have some strategies. Damn, but it's the map we all, we all do well on. You not watch me stream. I also need practice cross. <laughs> that was winning. I had to see that was. <laughs> Damn. Okay, here we go. They are starting. What a game one! A monster game one. Just mind blowing. Mind blowing indeed. I got 2k1 one one back. Nice. Good casting club. Thank you, Napoleon. Cross not that different, but the centering is good. the centering is complicated. That is very true. Why are all rating 6 innings? Because they're playing on the you see rated Vcom ladder. That's the tournament ladder. So all of their EOs are pretty much uh, reset because they both, like, they don't have any games because the ladder is just, you know, like, static. Thank you, Napoleon, for the casting, man. <laughs> Thank you, Napoleon, for the following. <laughs> uh, my bad. Not that mood where I might upset someone, but at least I came to say hi. Oh, it's okay, you know. Thanks, thanks for saying hi, man. Hi, man. Always ni nice to see you, you know. Always nice to see you. Well, we... Thanks for... <laughs> Thanks for streaming, Flow Crocs. Appreciate it, man. Please follow, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Because <laughs> I did quite okay with Spanish. Okay, okay. That's good. You guys are putting into practice. Yeah, Persian is definitely faster. A lot faster. I, I don't know. I, I don't see Spanish ever being picked. Persian is the way to go on maps like that. Because they're just, you know, the early TC start is quite good. And it's quite quite fast-paced. And honestly, no other ballad and civilization can follow that. Really, no other. Thanks for the follow, Bunuel. Bunuel. I guess that's how you pronounce it, right? Should be pretty straightforward, right? <laughs>
Pretty chaotic. Test the saves while I can push Chinese and then Persian. Yeah, Maya could complete compete for Persian. Um, that's true. I've seen I've seen Maya being picked. That is that is very true. It's messy, but definitely has happened. Definitely has happened. Definitely has happened. Whew. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, don't waste them on water. <laughs> Not the best rusher, so can't go Viking, sadly. Well, I think that there should always be like somebody, especially in these Static Nation Cup games, he should always just assign a player to a civilization, which he should play. I think that's the best way to approach situations. For example, I, like Max always plays Persians, and you know, he's even good with Persians on flank. So that's always nice to see. I'm assigned to Persian. Yeah, that's nice. So many people streaming this game. Well, this is supposed to be one of the best Nation Cup games we're going to see. So, yeah, everybody looking forward to it. We do have a lot more games, though. You know, we do have a lot more games. I don't even think I'm going to go to sleep, guys. The last game today starts at 4 o'clock in night 4 o'clock in night for me so you know clav clav doesn't need sleep clav doesn't need sleep i'm, I'm just saying so you guys know I'm, I'm i'm actually not human maybe somebody actually thought i am so just just clearing that one up you know just clearing that one up which zone I am? Uh, I'm I'm GMT plus three, and the matches happen at one o'clock GMT. So it's pretty messy. Diet based on grass, juice, and potatoes. <laughs> I actually wanted to go to the store today, but it's already too late, so I didn't even get my chocolate. I honestly like the plan was for me to cast uh, two escape gaming sets instead of three, and then I would have like one more hour. And I would go to the shop and get me some chocolate so I can survive the night. But no, not even that. So, you know, Cloud is probably just going to die playing PC. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But Persian is just awesome. Pretty much all I can say. They're, they're just awesome, really, you know. Doesn't get better because they're just awesome. <laughs> okay, here we go. Spec delay is done. Nice. Just grass juice for the day then? <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Okay, so 40 more seconds, guys, and we will be in the game. Whew. Honestly, after this series, I'm gonna go get some coffee and some food, and then we're gonna go cast USA vs. Spader. Probably right off the bat. Without any pauses. 45D walls, so at some points. Yeah, 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 fortified walls, that's what you mean, okay. Can't even write fortified walls. Such lazy. Much wow. Here we go. So game two between these players, let me just take off the fish as we won't have any this game. So welcome everyone for one of the best matches we're gonna see in a while. We have Canada A versus Finland A. Game one was Arabia, which Finland A took and now we have Chaos Pit. You know why it's called Chaos Pit? Because there's chaos everywhere. Look at the positions, they're so close to each other. Look at this, look at this, we have Vili is here, already here on this side, there's like a, like a big, big hill line separating them all, you know, so that's pretty nice. Map is Chaos Pit. <laughs> yeah, oh, should make a meme with Baltic, right? Like, like on escape. So we do have deer, we do have boars. Oh, actually, don't, I don't think we have deer. Yeah, we don't have deer, but we have um, turkeys and deer, so no boars. This is best of three, best of five. It is... Four games, all played Swiss, uh, Swiss stage, pretty much. So, 
Let's see, what do we have? Obviously not gonna see much waving because there's no boars to get. And one more thing you guys have to know is this. You see, there's a wood line all across the map that they do have to cut. Hey, my metal fan. To get outside, right? And outside there's gold, stone, wood, you know. But they do have to cut this. They do have to cut it to get, because inside there's nothing. There's no gold, barely any stone. You know, only thing you have is access to food. No boars, no boars. So we're not gonna see them. Why? It's the map. I mean, well, can not answer that question, right? So you can already see, you can already see the guys going for a lumber camp here. Pike dropping one on this side so he can cut faster. We got Zoopy going for one on this side as well. You know, just so we can cut one time for Wumber, but I never do that. Well, I think on this map you have to because you need to, like, you see? You, you, you need to focus one Wumber. Like the, like the pros do. Yeah, you see? Like, like the pros do. <laughs> Look at that. Beaut oh, I hit it, hit it. Max didn't get the memo. You know, Max did not get the memo. But let's see now. What are we expecting? We're expecting a lot of aggression. Just a lot of aggression, chaos, like, just chaos, you know? Chaos in the pits, which they're in. That was a reference to the map name. So, it should be very interesting. We already see people pushing a lot of deer. So, let's look at the civilizations a little bit and talk about what are we actually dealing. So, let's start on this side. We have Belize on Aztecs. Amazing flank civilization. You got the monks, you got the drush, you got the crossbows, the eagles, the full package. You got the mags on Mayans. Also amazing civilization, obviously Mayans, we, everybody knows, Pumed Archers, everything else, that is lovely about them. Then we got Spy, uh, Pike on Spanish, we already saw Spanish last game. And then we got Celts for Zupi, so that is probably for the faster cutting wood at least, but... Ooh. Not going for the cuts, actually. Wow, not going for the cuts? Surprisingly, he knows where it is. But no, Zupi going for the small one, not going to actually cut outside. Maybe he will just use the cut that Pike will make by the looks of it. Let's see, on the opposite side we have Chris on Byzantines. Interesting choice. Interesting choice on, yeah, on Byzantines. Like, it's a pretty good civilization, do have a lot of options, but I want to see what they want to do on this map with it. Then we have Mentos in the pocket as Celts, so we, Celts obviously just one of the best post-imperial civilizations you can have. And then we got... As uh, we got, what is this? Swam on Mongols. Mongols, okay, that's another OP civilization. And then we got Huns for Hera. And Hera is just a Hun player, so he's probably pretty happy just, you know, with this. So, overall, interesting civilization choices, right? We do have different civs. Only civilization that repeats itself is Celts. From all civilizations, Celts is the only one repeating itself. So yeah, this is interesting from Canada, right? Looks like they did their homework and this guys, guys, you have to you have to realize, you have to realize this is Canada's home map. Canada picked this. Canada did pick this one, right? That's what you have to realize. They're the one with the big plan. So we have to see what it is. You know, nobody's going up yet. So we have to see what it is. Yeah, that is that is very true. And also Considering you can hit the wood lines, you know, just go around like, I mean, obviously you can wall this, but it, like the distance is so huge, right? And especially on the SY Nation Cup mod, which makes walls more costly by one wood and build time increased by one second. It's even harder to wall like really heavily on this side, so we'll have to see. We have Swam quicken up now on 21 villager, probably will go for those scouts by the looks of it. I'm not really sure though, he's bringing more to the lumber camp. Not really sure, might be the scouts coming out from him. Yeah, Chris, Chris does love that. Oh, he's an old school player, so he loves those old school strategies. But let's see now what is happening on this side. Yeah, Chris is also up, so might be going for that skirmisher spear combination. Oh, they have Mento, it's a nice team all happening. A nice team all happening, so that's pretty, pretty nice. And who else is up? Hera is also up, and Pike is up. So, you could say three people already up from the Canada side, one from Finland, which is Pike as the Spanish. And he's gonna go for a full-blown tower rush by the looks of it. I mean, I'm not sure why else would you gather so much on stone. So, people with the downtour. Uh, where's his TC? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Seems like he plays in a big layer of wood. Um, yeah, he did. He didn't go for the outside one. Yeah, Villager, that's what I said. 
He didn't go for the outside one, he went for, you know, this one. For, like, for the second tile of wood, which is located in this side. No, it wasn't a... It, it, was, it was like this. Like, this is where he placed it, you know, in like a second layer of wood, yeah. It's quite, quite interesting, right? Quite interesting. Because typically, like, I mean, it, you don't need to cut out if your teammate's doing that. Yeah, exactly. Pike's gonna... Pike's fix. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. What I said before, Pike's gonna probably do that, so that's fine. But now, here we go. Chris with a tower coming out. Okay, he's coming in with a tower. We have Pike here with a lot of villagers, but he's not field away yet now. A huge ramble coming out. Villager fight. I don't even know who is who right now. We do have scouts. We do have a lot of villagers drop down. Now, Pike up to the field away. She's dropping the tower, and Chris's one might be denied just like that. Max looking up to the feudal edge now, mentally Zoopy up as well. And now Stonewall's coming up from Pike, he's trying to secure as much as he can. Huge Vulture fight, I'm just gonna do this because it's hard to tell those two colors, just so we can see who is who. It's pretty, pretty close right now, and looks like actually Chris is gonna force him back. Chris forcing Pike back like that, and what? He didn't wall one tile, and now this tower is gonna get denied, already deleting it. He's gonna complete his one, so that's gonna be quite good as well. And pretty good stuff right so far from these players. And now Chris gonna get it up and Spike will have to go for quite defensive towers. Let's see on this side though. Hera going for the scouts. We got Belize with the Aztec Rush actually coming out. Not achieving much. Both players almost full team wall. I mean on this side Swan not really going for the walls. But he's already popping out those scouts. Trying to get inside now. Coming here is also team play happening. They're all coming here. Chris already with the Byzantine skirmishers. Oof, this is gonna be amazing. This is just so much gas. They're all focusing on this one side. We have defensive towers coming out from Pike. Even one from Zupi. They wanna defend this side. He did wall with the pal. No, he didn't wall with the palisades. So this wall might go down. Strush. <laughs> Now Chris is true, here we go, one spear in defense from Zupi. Ooh, nice quick one with the archery range, gonna secure that and Chris, I mean Slam gonna have to go past this. Definitely losing one already in the process, a lot of scouts here, but they're going past, they're tanking the damage, they're gonna go on Zupi's villagers now, Zupi with a quick wall, trying to wall as fast as possible. Oh, and he's not gonna get it, one villager will definitely go down to her scouts. Sorry, but I was re repositioning myself here, but we see Manto is... As the Celts, he's going up, he's also true, he's taken gold. You know, he went market blacksmith, so looks like everybody's gonna put the pressure while he's just gonna go for the castle edge. Now look at the scout on Zupi, losing one villager already. We got skirmishers and spearmen everywhere. We got just so chaos, losing another villager. Might lose a third one as well, he's losing villagers left and right right now. We have double scout coming in from Hera and Slam. They're just doing ton of damage right now, gonna pick off another villager. We still have still a lot more here, but now he's gonna go for the fight. What is he doing? You can't fight that. There's so many scouts. Going full chaotic. He has some skirmishes, but again, versus those scouts, not doing that much as he would wish for. Now, Max up to the castle age. Gonna be a little bit better than Mento is, but that is completely fine as he's probably going for the plumed archer. Yes, he is. Already taking the stone, so he will try to get those plumed archers running. But they, these, these scouts are wild. These scouts are definitely wild. To that down song now. <laughs> Looks like we do have a pause. Yeah, we do have a pause. Sick by gate. That's that's a very good gate. That actually might save Zupi's wife right now. Oh, Harris coming in. He's close. Yes, three scouts full HP. But no, he's gonna give it up. Oh no, maybe not. Oh no, don't let him go through. Oh, the timing. The time. Oh, oh, oh my God, he's true. Oh my God. He did get through, they're already pinging it, they know they have to go there, oh look at that, already Chris repositioning, Swam already repositioning as well, they did get through, Soupy what oh but he blocks it with the hells, oh my god, that is absolutely beautiful, the timing, the scouts are still quite healthy, if he gets bloodlines, oh, oh he's gonna block it with the hells, but damn, that could have been... That could have been 10 times more painful than it was. Now he's gonna go back and this is still completely exposed from Pike. And if he gets bloodlines or something, he can kite this around for days. It's only 3 scouts, but it still hurts a lot. Now Sam gonna come and pick up the skirmishers. Oh, or do you want villager being isolated? Look at that. Oh, Hera Micro? Ah, he needs to get bloodlines and all the other upgrades. And then he can dive with those 3 scouts even. And now look at Sam picking up everything right now. Let's see, now double, second TC from Mento is third TC, so Mento is gonna do a full, full boom. 
Indeed, and now Harry just camping around, right? He's, he's just waiting for the upgrades. He's waiting for the upgrades. That's 100% what he's doing. These scouts, even though three max upgraded and few damage, pff, they're just gonna kill. Oh, Slam coming in now, Zupi. Oh, Zupi did a wall. No, Slam is inside the wood wide. Oh my god, Zupi, no. He didn't wall that one gap and now gotta fight it out. But Slam needs to be careful so he doesn't lose these scouts. Now he deleted the walls. Waiting him through. Now Swim is Chris coming in with some two skirmishers. This villager definitely going down. He's chasing this one down. Gonna lose two villagers in the process. Oh my god, the Titanic. Her still harassing here. Yeah, he's already with four scouts. He did actually reunite with another scout trying to block Max. Max went for a quick wall. Oh, oh, he didn't go through it, but there's one HP on that house. He's oh, he did get through again. Just so fast paced game. I can't even keep track of everything. More scouts coming on this side from Hera. Look at that. He just spammed huh? scouts like a madman. He needs to get the bloodlines. The word the bloodlines here. I'm still missing that now. So I'm going for. More harassment, trying to do the damage now, Max with the castle coming out, but Herak here did actually lose a lot of scouts here, not sure what happened, I think he missed micro that pretty hard, he did pick up one more, though, but oh my god, I had such chaos everywhere, look at the amount of scrums Chris is coming out, he can easily dive under this TC without caring about a single thing in the world, Hera probably has no gold, no, he's outside, he has gold, he's taken all of the gold, he should get bloodlines in the next few minutes, he does have a lot of scouts, and Mento is coming forward to Villagers, he's gonna drop a forward siege rock trap in the next two seconds, and oof, oof, barely getting those stone walls up, securing himself on that TC, so that's gonna be quite good, now look at that, Chris is diving with the scrims, and he has a nice number, he can even one shot, oh, he two shot a Villager at least, now good micro, dealing with Zupi, having all the upgrades, Zupi has none of the upgrades so far, just absolutely ridiculous game, such a weird Krieger's map, there's so much action, now a tower coming out, he's gonna deny this TC, now Slam is up to the castle, Hera getting bloodlines, that's gonna be huge, it is chaos pit, <laughs> it is chaos pit, it is chaos pit, so much harassment going on on Zupi, under harassment as well, just losing villagers left and right, 34 villagers for him, max 36, <sighs> Painful, painful, though, on one more time, painful. <laughs> now the TC gets denied 800 HP, he's gonna go for the forward Siege Workshop soon. I assume that's what he's trying to do, because Skeleton Siege Workshop obviously being awesome. Now we finally have some Plume Doctors coming out from the mags, but now Sam is here with the scouts, and he, he's gonna need to reach Castleage in his second now as well. Might want to go for this. Ooh. Yeah, he wants to kill the wolves, but they're really clunked up, so it might be hard for the scouts. But now the Wombra camp here, and him, him as well missing a lot of upgrades, sadly. But honestly, if they, like, if Hera comes, yep, and he's coming, and he's gonna pick all this up. He has Bloodwines, plus one, plus one. <sighs> bye, bye. Bye, bye, Pike. Yeah, definitely, I mean... I don't know where Chris's villagers went, looks like he actually lost them, no, he went back, he's in a tower, Villies is woodwind now, and look at Hera come out, oh my god, look at Hera, he's gonna kill a villager, definitely gonna kill all of this, they take so much damage, they take 5 hit, oh my god, another one going down, hey Karik, what's going on, more villagers going down, another one, and now Slam comes here as well, Pike's gonna lose all of his villagers, there's no way he can deal with this, he's gonna run away only now, but that's already so late, how can he actually gonna run through the gate, he can just follow with the scouts, there's no way, the closest DC is a mile away, and Chris is here to block through with the skirmishers. Now he's gonna go here with the three pulled out. That's not gonna stop this. Look at the massacre. Pike suddenly dropping below 40 villagers, losing everything. Even these plumes getting chased down now. Finally, some spears coming out to save the day, but still might even be too late. Now, Chris full harassment on Zupi. No, they're all they're all inside the woodline. Every player is inside the woodline. They just cut through. Now Pike is still getting chased, still getting guided by Hera, and now Vimis get denied on the woodline as well, just absolutely mind-blowing game. Now Market coming out from Zupi as well, Dub Watch already down from him, he's trying to do as much pressure as he can, but now Hera, <laughs> he's going at it again! These filters are so low, look at that, 2 HP, 1 HP, all of these could be picked off by merely one, vil one scout, two scouts, but now Chris is gonna be up, Hera is gonna be up! They're all in Castle Age now. They're all in Castle Age. Only one from Castle Age is Max. And now look at, look at that. Pike's still getting harassed by these skirmishers. He just can't get enough. 
Oh my god, look at the damage. Chris is gonna come in now. <laughs> he's still chasing and he's gonna even pick off the full Nitros. Now, nice wall from Ento is gonna secure this area for the Canadian team. And oh my god, they did their homework. They really did do their homework. Zuppi is still under so much pressure right now. Now the caster is gonna hit in from everyone. Elite Scrimmage from, from Chris incoming probably any second. Now I'm gonna slap another Vildrum from Zuppi. Oh, I can't even breathe right now, guys. This, these games are absolutely amazing. It does not get better. Oh. Damn. Yeah, the Canada did their homework. They're doing a lot of damage. That is very, very true. Now, we already secured a wall on this side from Pike, though. So that's quite nice. And now, he's got Hera going in. He's full scouts. He doesn't care about those three spears. I do some scouts. He doesn't care. He's getting trained by Darmin. He doesn't care. Looks like the damage. Oh, he's gonna go in now. Full aggressive mode happening. He doesn't care now. Chris with the lead skirmisher denying Zupi driving the tower. He doesn't care. Oh my god. Max up to the Imperial. But what can he do? Pike 37 villagers. Zupi 38 villagers. Dying like crazy. And Zupi calling the GG. Gonna pull the plug. What an amazing second game. What just happened? 1-1! One, one. Just like that, chaos pit, full chaos! Hero with the scouts, Sven with the scouts, everything just going their way, killing everything, and now GG gets called! What a game, guys! What a game from Canada! Showing us why... Why it's their whole map! What just happened? Chaos everywhere, Max only one trying to do something! Are these energy games going on YouTube? All of the- I'm gonna upload this series on YouTube. I'm gonna upload Australia versus Brazil to YouTube as well. Definitely gonna do it today when I go to sleep. Oh, wow. This game should have been cancelled? Yeah. Unbelievable. Hey, Gally. Dude. What just happened? <sighs> I know you do, Yuna. 25 water starting from Chris killing everyone with the elite skirmishers. Just demolishing. Nobody even reaching Castle Age. Zuppi not reaching Castle Age. Vili's Feudal. Pike Feudal Age. Everything going down. Vildra High. Look at that. Mento is the most. Oh man. Mind blowing games indeed. Let's go back. Let me take a breath. Canada takes the game. And we will have the centering. And they will actually rejoin now. So we have to wait a little bit for that. But damn. What just happened? What just happened? Ooh, Canada, the comeback is here, man. The comeback is why I'm killing everyone. Showing the dominance. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. I can't breathe, guys. I can't read. Whew. Unbelievable. That was so chaotic. Just, just they were just trading blows. You know, it, it, it was like it was like like a boxing, like just like Mike Tyson versus another Mike Tyson. You know, they just didn't want to go down. Game one, Finland taking it. Now Canada, just such a comeback. You know, they went for the chaos pit. Oof, someone wants popcorn? I would love some, but the shop's already closed. Feels Klavskis, man. Damn. What a game, guys. What a game. Whew. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Damn. Damn. I'm still still blown up by this. Missed the whole game. Dude, it was unbelievable. Unbelievable.
Damn, that was mind blowing. No? Nah, it's pretty much well. Like. I, I, I muted the. I wanted to mute the mic, but I accidentally muted the audio. I'm just that good. Now I'm drinking dwarf beer. Nice. Damn. Whew. What just happened? What just happened? They just said you looked like lemon. <laughs> but it did a little bit. It did a little bit. It definitely did a little bit. Oh man. Did a little bit. I might put on music like this, but I really have no idea what's here. I don't really want to put on some music because I'm not sure like what's copyrighted on YouTube and what's not. So I'm not going to put any music. Sorry about that, guys. You can just put your own music while we wait for the games. 8% alcohol? I don't know. Some does. Kind of just apologize for this game. <laughs> yeah. Play Elkland Chris is back. You guys are the Super Bowl as well, Clav. Covered the action everywhere. Hyped up the important parts. Did not miss any sneaky moves. Thank you, Zimran means a lot. If you guys like it, it is a song about Chris. <laughs> I don't want to cast any music, I'm sorry, because if I put it on YouTube, I want it like copyright. <laughs> yeah, I know. Copyright free. So one second, guys. I will be right back. 10 seconds. You can just put on, on, on your own music while we wait. Be right back. Okay guys, sorry, I'm back. So, looks like we're still missing a few people. Slam is back, Hera and Mento is still not. Not too sure, maybe some fast proxy issues. I don't think we should miss a anything. Ah, do, do not disturb one second, guys. Um... Thank you for the follow, G Gistuma. Whew, damn. I, I need to take a breath, guys. I really do. Somebody stop me. Thanks for following, guys. Appreciate it. Damn, this, th th these series are actually keeping up, you know, it, it was hyped, and they're definitely keeping up.
Oh my god, they went to practice the map. Oh. Well, that's... <laughs> Canada actually went to practice the map. By the looks of it. What? Wait, really? Let me check. Let me check. Medieval Siege. We can check it out. It's not that hard, you know? If they're on Medieval Siege or not. Let me check. Well, it doesn't look like they're actually there. I don't see any of them. Okay. Come on, really? Yeah, that would be... That really would be something. I don't know. I mean, did they actually go there? I don't know what they're saying. I, I'm, I'm not really sure where, where I should be able to find them. You know what I mean? Okay, they're ready. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start now. Oof, we're gonna start now, guys. Oh, no, Pike left. Oh, come on. Okay, Pike is back. So we should be in the game shortly. Damn. Oh man, this this should be. I want to see the Sandring man. This this is gonna be awesome. Let me just clean my glasses. After that, I almost went blind. You know, <laughs> damn, that was that was just unbelievable, guys. And you know, we have Canada versus EMA. In one GMT as well, guys. So it's not like we don't have any more games going. We're gonna have games all night. We're gonna be... We have USA versus Spain in 2.5 hours. So, so considering we're only in game 3 right now. Once that finishes, we're probably gonna have like one hour window where I just might play some booby team games. Get some coffee and eat. Like a little break. And then we're gonna get back. You know, with more action-packed games. So, it's just... All night Nation Cup, man. Who cares, right? Who needs sleep, guys? Let's be real. Oh no, it's actually USA versus Brazil B. Sorry. Sorry, my bad. USA versus Spain is tomorrow. On Sunday, 16 5 GMT. That is when that is happening. And then we have tomorrow as well, we have China SY versus Argentina A. Definitely gonna cast that. Definitely gonna cast that as well tomorrow. Just a lot of games, to be honest. A lot of games. One sec, I need to find. Is Limbo online? No, he's not. I wanted to ask him to add me on the Nation Cup game list, but. <laughs> I guess we can live without that. Okay, let's see. Poo, 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 poo. Mm, okay, it's whatever, I guess. Chat seems or uh, seems or full of bots. <laughs> True story. It's extreme, yeah, with a FP. Feels bad. How does it feel to get the big leagues? <laughs> Centric map, never seen it before. It's quite an interesting map, actually. It's quite an interesting map. And actually, I did get hosted by Escape. With, like, around 600 viewers, so... Feels pretty okay. Um, so dummy, you start boom the dummy that is. Uh, you start on the main your main island with three villagers on like a small island with you know some some trees, some sheep, and all that. And then you just have to build a TC and all that stuff. And then you just start to like explore outside, and there's like a big island outside. I'm just gonna like brief intro obviously we're gonna see it in the next three minutes you know 
No real point waiting. <laughs> well, guys, just to enjoy Marauder's story right now. It's quite interesting. <laughs> Freaking Marauder, man. Aye, aye, aye. Looks like we will be in the game shortly, though. They're all in. Looks like everything's good. Excuses? <laughs> Strong stuff. Here we go, Spectre is live, guys. Okay, so 50 more seconds guys. I hope you're all hyped. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is going to be good. Okay, 20 more seconds guys. Here we go guys, game 3 between these teams, we got Canada versus Finland, no Reese left for any of the teams as the series is 1-1, tied right now, we have home map of Finland, home map of Finland, the centering, so people who don't know the centering, you start on a small island with 3 villagers, so pretty much nomad start, let me just shut off as well by the way, and mute, so pretty much nomad start, for these players and you start with a transport ship and nomads start on a small island there's some wood there's a little bit of gold a little bit of stones four deer and some sheep right so nothing very huge just a small small island to get you going why did Hera leave i don't know uh, oh uh, because he has no idea how to play maps like this that's why so pretty good stuff so far from uh from them this map is quite interesting and it's quite actually complicated to play it because some people go for the outside really fast as you can see example number one max already on the outside did not go for the lumber camp inside he went for one outside and typically people do that because they want to get you know on the main island on the main land a lot faster and all that you know he's going to build a tc probably on here take the two shore fish the wood the gold everything in position for him to take none of them who are active so, what are we expect expecting? I mean, two players will probably go Galerish, or three players go Galerish, and then you have the one that booms in the back. So, I have no idea who this shameless guy is, honestly. I have no idea who is this shameless guy. Does anyone know who this shameless guy is? I have no clue. So, Hera left, and man, who else left? Who else left? We got Chris, Mento, Slam. Okay, so on, only only Hera left. Okay, never mind. Yeah, isn't oh that's Jean? Oh, I remember Jean. Yeah, Jean is a good water player, right? Jean is a really good water player, I think. I remember he was playing with Viper in the Europe tournament, and Jean was Jean. Yeah, nice. Jean, Jean seeing some action. That is very good. So again. Let's look at the like look at the positions now. We see everybody dropping the town centers. We already have Crystal dropping one on the outside. We have Max going with one outside as well. Let's see what's happening here. Inside one from Pike. And yeah, that was Max as well, obviously. And ooh, Zubi going for one outside as well. And we we kinda have to go look at the civilizations a little bit, so let me just do that. 
So we, let's see, we have Shameless, also known as Jean, playing here as the Viking, so you'll definitely go for the fast Cali rush. Then we have Ace Pocket, Mayans for Chris, and I am Chris that is. Then we have Japanese on Mentalist and Slam with the Chinese. So what are we expecting? I think we will see Vikings and Chinese go for the Cali rush because they have get really amazing uptimes. I think that could we could see um, the Max going for like a fast, like a Castellage boom into Knights, Cavaliers, Paladins, all that shenanigans because I mean he likes to do that and he's on the Persians. And not really sure what Zupi plans to go for, but he might also do some kind of a fast castle. So let's see how they deal deal with that and let's see how they approach. I guess we're gonna see triple Gavrish maybe, since they do have the Japanese as well. Maps for the tournaments. Um, these maps always existed, they just did, did get changed, and no, I think SMB actually may changed most of the maps. I think SN, SMB, but I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure on that one. If you want to find something about that, go to AOC Zone. Yeah, they're modified versions, exactly. And I think that you can find information about that on the on AOC Zone. So, let's see. I mean, obviously, the Dark Age is kind of boring. So, one thing we can talk about is you can see both of the Chinese players being way ahead of everyone. Both of them being 12 villagers, 13 already for Slam. And, honestly, Jean is a little bit behind everyone. Not sure if you're not having the best start by the looks of it. Kind of not playing that good. You can see he's like one villager behind everyone. Okay, actually, never mind. He's, he's kind of close. But you can see that Mantu is already on 10. Chris is on 9. He's only now getting the 9th mark. Same for Billy's and Max, though, so it's not that bad. This map looks like Neil Delta. <laughs> there used to be contests, but not this year. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, already a dock's coming out. Pike dock, Slam dock. And we have dock from the Max. We have dock from Zupi as well. No dock yet from Billy's, nor from. Gene for making maps that is okay. I see, I see. So Billy start dropping the dock and Gene only one not on a dock yet, so I have to check his wood count. Oh Gene, did you mess up? Why do you not have a dock out? If Billy's already building his one. Interesting. Very interesting. Billy's looks like he's a little bit dead actually. Yeah, it's it's quite important to dock early because you, you want to get those uptimes going really. Now, Max going for Loom, so is Zupi, that's all fine. So here we go, only now Jin getting to dock, so you can say already a little bit bad for his opponent, Billy's. And they're both on Vikings, so as even as it gets really. So that's all good. Let's see on this part now. Slam, kind of here. <laughs> you see like... Well, like, the Slam is trying to lame it. Slam is literally laming his fish. He's trying to cause as much idle time as he can. This is just holy. Look, look, look at this. It's intentional, he's blocking it. <laughs> that is just lovely to watch. Now, Max gonna come and do the same, maybe? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he's gonna block the fish. Look at this. Just to cause that, like. Like half a second less, uh, more idle time on that. I mean, more, more walking time on, on that one. <gasps> oh, this is beautiful. This is just beautiful. I mean, where else are you gonna see that if not on the Nation Cup? Walking the fishing ships with the transport ship. Oof. But now, Slam is up with the Chinese. Pike is up as well. He's a little bit behind. 10 seconds. Not a big problem. So let's see. Let's see. Should be second knock incoming from both soon. And, oof, man, I don't know, I don't know. He's still doing it. <laughs> I mean, how, how can you not laugh? How, like, if somebody would do this in a ranked game, a normal rated game, people would think the guy nuts, you know? But you see it here, you're like, yep, Slam's just next level. Mag's just next level, you know? So now second dock incoming from Slam, same from Pike. On this side, you can see Max kind of booming. Uh, same with Chris, man. Chris is on Mayan though, so they don't have the Persian and they have to do the damage because otherwise, as in Sam, that's for the Vilias. Yeah, he should be already taking the wood on the outside, that's true. Because this wood will run out really soon for Slam. But well, let's see, let's see, let's see what he. Well, I don't think he. I, I think it's because he's normal with 1 1. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I think it's because he doesn't want to spend 100, 100 wood on the Walmart Camp Belgium, you know, think about it. 
100 wood is expensive. You see, Pike did that. But Pike is... I oh, triple dock as well, actually, so never mind. Maybe it's... Owned. <laughs> now, Zoopy up, and so is Gene. Vili's not clicking up yet, though. Ooh. Gene clicking up a little bit faster. Yeah, Vili's gonna click up only now. And looks like Mento is gonna go for some, maybe some kind of Castle Edge play as well. Now we have Otisi firing towards someone here. Yeah, towards Shea and Gene, but that's fine. Doja told me what? That he has to go out? Well, he's not. Pretty sure he knows better than you and me. But now triple galley already out from Pike, so I'm gonna get pushed back. He's coming in with his third one. Let's see if he can out micro. Ooh, nice shot. Yeah, he's focusing the right one. He's focusing the middle one. Yes, he is. Ooh, nice focus fire. Look at that. Just coming so far ahead. Just from micro alone. Damn. Finland is already GG. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, still, this game, this map is quite tricky. Let's see now, though. Gene taking stone? Okay. The next level as well. Max up to the feudal edge now. Chris is a little bit faster. But same villagers. Look at that. Same villagers, but the distance is 30 seconds apart from each. So let's see now. Still with the galleys coming in, but Pike and Defender's Advantage is gonna serve him a little bit and help him a lot. Now looks like Mento is gonna click up the latest one actually. Not sure what's happening here. I think he's gonna go for the fast castle as well, but it might be tricky. Oh, oh, he's coming in now. See, that's gonna go down, that's gonna go down as well, but Pike has, Pike's trying to do the damage, but all of these are actually full HP, did you repair them? So I have nice micro, though, spinning off the group, really nice runner from him there. And he was outnumbered by one galley, but, oh, never mind, he wasn't, no, 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 fire, they don't have fire galleys, this is, this is Wubui. They don't have fire galleys in Wubui. Okay, let's see now. Yeah, I said Gene's gonna push off Vilis. That's really good. That is very, very nice from Gene actually being ahead of Vilis, even though he did get the later dock. So, now Vilis obviously coming out of his own galleys. Let's see if Gene can micro. He's pulling some nice micro. Gonna go back now, taking one hit. <laughs> now, Manto is up to the feudal edge as well. <laughs> yeah, you're not, Valkrux. You're not. I'm so. <laughs> oh, man. But now here we go, Pike does have a lot though. Ooh, this will definitely not go down, so that's good. So I'm not gonna get that, no way. But Pike has a lot more galleys than Swam right now. So that's interesting to watch as well. Let's see though, what is happening. Not a lot actually. Ooh, here we go, though he's gonna lose a galley. So did Gene, but that's pretty nice. This is KB I'm feeling watching a classic game, even though it's played this play today. <laughs> oh man. Now Vili is gonna push him back and no fletching hit from anyone. Zupi though is getting it. Zupi is getting fletching and is he actually does he actually have any alleys? I mean military has four somewhere, which I can't see because of the blue color. Which is annoying, but ooh, look at Chris now dropping archers. He might dive, he might dive Pike. There's no way Pike can deal with this. The X is coming down, they know this is here, and there's no way. Mental is up to the castle, and so is Mags, but look at Chris right now with the archers. We do have them still patrolling here. Ooh, let's see, trying to get it. Yeah, can he get it? Ah, oh, he did focus it beautifully. Focusing the weaker one, that was beautiful play. Oh, here we go, this is why I get fletching. Okay, Zupi doing the same, actually. I didn't see on this side story the blue color. Uh, he's doing the same now. Mento is gonna get denied. But so is Pike, and he actually going for a tower. I don't think Mento is gonna get one. He did wall nicely with the house, though. That will buy him some time, and he's already moving towards Chris, so Chris can save his him pretty much so far. But now Gene full full control over Vili's, killing all the fish. Vili's titaniking like crazy. Twenty five villagers, Gene twenty six, but killing everything. Now wanted to get, catch the the uh, transport ship, but no, not gonna do it, but the villager, <sighs> he's gonna get the villager, gonna get two villagers, oh my god, Billy is titanic, who is is killing him here though, G getting Chris's fish, and now Zupi cannot find Mento yet, so Mento is gonna be safe actually, and gonna go with the slam together, but now, Chris denying that wood one, yeah, it's, it's quite chaotic, he will get it running because of the tower, but it's still in quite some chaos, and Gene is just demolishing right now, this is why Gene is playing, guys, this is my, by, my, 
This is why Gene is playing. He's showing us a world class game right now underwater. 17 military. Nobody's even close. <laughs> Gene is amazing right now. Look at him go. I'm gonna go. Bam. The little ship just down. Just like that. Just, just disappeared. Just like that, you know? Who else can do that if not him? Oh man, you're so good, bud. Oh, Sam's so gonna transport. Oh, I guess he sees the archers now, but Mento is gonna get the TC. We do have the scout from the mags, but I don't think that's gonna stop him. And might lose a villager or two, but I think this TC will go up with some trouble. With some trouble indeed, but gonna lose a lot actually. I don't think it will be denied though. Yeah, Mento is truly getting hurt a lot. Oh, Zupi so gonna pick off one more. I think he's already back enough, so he doesn't need TC fire. And gonna pick off one more. Almost picking up two more, so a lot of villagers going down for the mentalist. Chris still full harassment, but now Max coming in with the knights. Nobody else can actually mirror these knights, and that's gonna be quite good. So maybe, maybe Finley can pull this back. Gene's still in full control over the Louise, though. So I think that they have water control. They just kind of have to, kind of have to do some damage right now. Doubt DC, yeah, but he had to do it because he had to defend against Zupi. But now Max with the Knights on defensive stance, he's getting wheelbarrow. Probably already dropping second and third DC, here we go, so he's on third DC as well. Now Pike dealing with this, sniping some fish off of Slam. And Slam has no fish right now. Losing everything, but now Gene's coming in here. He wants to take the fight, come at me Pike, I'm gonna kill him and make a super bullet TC. That's kinda true, but now Gene getting picked off a little bit because he's fighting on both sides. Where is Slam's army though? He has only 10 military, he lost all of his ships compared to Pike who's on 15, so he has even a little bit more left. But now the oh. Chris! Chris! Oh my god, Chris! Kevin, look at the four villagers clean up just like that. Now Pike, 28 villagers, still is 26 villagers. They're all below 20, like 30 villagers, damn. Now finally Veloz with a lot of ships, Jason, uh, Gene gonna come in that is, and he cannot truly really fight as he's outnumbered, he's trying to micro but gonna be hard now. Chris up to the castle age, he's stone won't, he's gonna be completely fine and safe on this side. We also have Gene with double towers securing his wood line. And Max, he has some archers but still Chris grinding like a boss and these knights gonna get picked off because of the TC alone but the problem is that mental is TC is really not that great. Max will go on one in 5 minutes and that might be true. That might be true. Now Billy is actually pushing back, so Billy is getting back from the hell. They did kill him time, give him time to reboom on the water, and he's doing just that. And honestly, they, they need to start going on the main line. The water is not gonna matter that much soon. They're all everybody's already transitioning into that castle age. Now Zupi is up to the castle age as well. Max getting town watch. Billy's and Gene. Ooh, Swam coming in. There might be surround two v two fight happening now. Bike is here as well. I think Vilis has still way more, but Slam coming in here as well, so let's see the 2v2 fight. Microing off their wines right now, and Gene is beautiful, Micro. He's getting all the kills he needs, and Slam trying to deny as well, and looks like Slam and Gene will actually pick this one up. Not sure though, they're still finding it out. Yeah, looks like Vilis and Pike is actually on the retreating end right now. Although, Slam getting chased off, and now Gene coming from the back. Gene doesn't have the numbers, I think. Vili is 23 military compared to Gene 16, so definitely Vili is having way more. Ooh, he's just gonna go back now. Nice dodge, and Gene just beautiful micro right now. Look at Vili, he has way more, but he can't micro, he can't hit the arrow fire. Gene just beautiful. Oh, now we're gonna lose two though, so that's not good. Oof, damn. Painful, painful, painful. Now Slam gonna find Pike. Definitely Pike that shouldn't take this fight. Ooh, Pike's gonna lose a lot. Gonna lose two immediately, might even lose more. What a pain right now happening. Now we have Zupi coming in with the transport ship here. Let's see what he wants to do. Probably gonna go maybe transfer here, try to do some damage. He's getting crossbowmen as well, so those are definitely crossbow inside this transport ship. Now he's gonna... Yeah, he's even harassing on this side already. I didn't see that, putting pressure on Greg, on on Chris right now, so that is pretty good. Now Crossbowman out here as well. Can't hit the double tower though, and now the least my Pike moving in is on that side. And yeah, Mento is twin Mento is truly just not sure what his his picture in, is in this one. <laughs> so yeah, just yeah the Japanese picture we're not paying off, that's true. 
I, they just don't know the map. They just don't know the map good enough. And you know it's looking looking pretty messy. It's definitely looking like a pretty fish bonus. Nah, it's it, it's it's not justified. Because now like you can see Max is just gonna kill everyone. He's on 66 villagers. Nobody's even close and now Ment Mento is still losing so much. He's on 25 villagers losing everything. He can't even make any army at all. Just losing villagers left and right. Only thing that's actually good is this Womber camp, but even this is gonna get shut down. And I think that Canada is going to lose this game soon enough. I mean, th these crowds women are gonna kill everything from Green alone. He just can't kill him. Now Louis coming in here. Ooh, gonna kill Gino like crazy. Gino gonna lose water as well. Mento is the mag base. Ah, he's monk rushing, but can you check? Yeah, yeah he's monk rushing. I mean, I, I was expecting the monkers to come down, but yeah, it's already too late. He doesn't have sanctity. Oh, yeah, sanctity, sang sang but. Oh, he doesn't have a forward anymore, Belgium. Forward is gone. Well. Yeah, that's true, Kai, but in a 4 v 4 setting, I don't think so, you know what I mean? It's it's complicated. They went for the Japanese pick, you know, it didn't pay off. And GG gets called from Canada just like that, so not as action-packed map, but, you know, Finland just showing us why well, why they're the kings and just killing it. So GG, let's look at achievements a little bit. And Finland will take this one, Not obviously not as explosive as Chaos, but that was just an amazing game. But you can see that, like, Max just overbooming everyone, you know, having 72 villagers, killing every, like, just Mental is losing a lot at the end, having on 25, even less villagers, the KDA for Mental is looking at 445, just phew, painful, painful. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Well, it doesn't matter because. Canada gets to pick the map now, guys. Canada gets to pick the last map for game four. For Max, that nice boom, not even getting the opportunity to kill all. Yeah, it's his best of three or best of four. It's Swiss stage, four games played. I mean, it's not really Swiss stage, but it's kind of something like that. They do play all four games, and then the score, you know, is the deciding factor. <laughs> Ooh, Ghost Lake! Go, we're gonna see Ghost like 4v4. I thought we were gonna see Cross as always, but Ghost like incoming guys, 4v4 Ghost like will be the case. Yeah, it will be a tie. If it's 3 1, then uh, Finwin takes it. No, 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 it's no, 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 it is. They play all four games, and then if it's 2 2, you know, it's a tie. If it's 3 1 or 4 0, then the winning team. Ghost like is lovely indeed. Damn. When, when is the last time someone in category boat boom? What? What, what, what do you say, Nanashi? Looks like Max having FP issues. Damn, Foxes can't get them. <laughs> Geography jokes? Oh, Caligari! No, I'm just confused. You saw his geography? I actually had good grades in geography. No, no, don't insult me, Pokrox. I had good grades. Ah, uh, you can't, you can't. No, you can't insult me. No, I'm not gonna take it. No. That is not how this life works, Pokerox. That is not how it works. No. Take it, Barry. <laughs> oh, man.
a 1k 1.3k in geography on wobo is like 70 50 in geography on hd <laughs> I, I do know it i do know it's street beat it was a secret capital of slovenia i don't know why, why, why would they know stuff i can google i mean come on come on yeah you see street, street, street beat just googled it come on street beat just google trust me Try Bratislava. as well. <laughs> oh wait, you kind of mixed it up, Gary. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are evil. Where are you from? I'm from, I'm from Latvia. I didn't. <laughs> I'm not from Estonia. I am not. Wait, from Estonia? <sighs> no, it's a train. <laughs> oh, you trolls. Never lucky. Always getting trolled like there's no tomorrow. He's an Estonian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's actually pretty funny. Estonian Canada. Classic. <laughs> Mother just has music on, feels bad. Not even safe, okay, no. Estonia is a city in Latvia. It's not. Eskimonia is near Baltic, oh my god. Ah, you trolls, you trolls, you trolls. Well, let's hope we can get in the game shortly. Honestly, I want to make some coffee, but once they're done, I'll go, I'll, I'll go make some coffee. And actually eat my food. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to do later on once they finish. I'm reading about Latvia and I'm convinced it's not a country, but a city pretending to be... <laughs> pretending to be a country? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that's just wrong. That is just wrong. Estonia is a country, it is. Kind of like Singapore. Like, we have Baltic, right? Baltic countries, which is Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania. Those are the three Baltic countries. Okay, Hera is back, Max is back, here we go. Well, let me just write to G that he's MVP. So y'all guys see. Is that from Baltic? No. Actually, a bunch of these European countries are just city names that boomed up from little fishing villages. <laughs> ah, you trolls. Oh, we're gonna go. Here we go, guys. We're starting game four, Ghost Lake. Yes. Let me just put Do Not Disturb back on. Tony is not a country and I trust him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best sentence. Okay, not the best. One of the best sentences I've read today. <laughs> good luck, have fun. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Honestly, this is, this is the last game. Everything's on the line. Either Canada e ties it or, or they don't, you know? It's the last game. You need to make more TCs, yeah. <laughs> I thought the Baltic was a map for you guys. <laughs> oh, this troll chat, lovely. Europe is a country. <laughs> I'm just done, guys.
I am just done. <sighs> one, one second, guys. <sighs> ah, you guys are so trolls. I do that. What? Okay, we're on spec the way, guys. Ooh. Spec the way. Not Carlos and <laughs> You guys are so so trolls. It's, it's wobbly. It's just wobbly. So, what do we have here? <laughs> oh, man, you guys. Calm down. Oh man. Well, looks like I have that bug. You join. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, no, never mind, I don't. Game 4, guys, the last game between this amazing series so far. We saw amazing two games, then a nice decentering just outplay from Finland, and now we are in the position where Canada is fighting for their life. Canada is just fighting for their life right now. We have Canada being down 1-2 right now. So they have to do it. This is the game to pull it back. We have no restarts left. So what we do, we do. There's, no, there's nothing else. There's no restarts. No map change. No nothing. The last game. Canada fighting for their life right now. This is, this is it. This is just it. So let's look at the positions. We do have a boss, so let's wait it out already. But already we can see Chris flying Spanish against Zupi Mongo flying. Oof. This is going to be a quite, quite aggressive place. Now we have Spanish Mayan Mongo Han, Spanish Mayan Mongo Han. Identical civilizations. <clears throat> we did see the same from Austria versus Brazil. The same. Absolutely same civilizations, same map. So, looks like actually they do <laughs> X on the map first. <laughs> oh, lovely. So, let's see what do we have from these players. We have Slam already uh, playing here as the Mongols on this side. Then we have Pocket Hera with the Huns again. Okay, so we're gonna say we have to go back. Ooh, Mike and I are fast proxy. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back, guys. No worry. That's that should be resolved slowly. But let's get back in the game.
hopefully soon. Okay, we're already starting. Here we go. Should be like two minutes and then we're back. So no problem, no problem, guys. And uh, where's Kelt? Well, well, we didn't clearly say we'd no snow mod. It's not even... Okay, yeah, I do have that. That's true. Everybody panic. I, I don't like snow mod. It's like, it kind of, it kind of hurts my eyes. Um... Maximus, we didn't see them from Brazil nor Austria as well, so maybe the Kells is just not that favored, you know, and why would it be really if you have all these amazing civilizations? Only problem again is the Spanish flank. That's like the only problem you could ever have is the Spanish flank. Everything else is completely fine. So that's just a gamble, you know, that's just a gamble. You, you need the Spanish trade because... If you play on even grounds, it's, it's, these guys have displayed, you know, they're as neck to neck as you can get, really, on land maps. They kind of have to go for the Spanish trade as well. And you can't replace Mayans and Mongols and Huns, you just can't. So there's nowhere to stick Celts, I guess. Well, let's hope we can get in fast. Here we go, already specked though, as I said, they just ready up and go. Obviously, no, no need to change any settings, anything at all, so let's see. They have special lobby. Um, this is the Nation Cup tournament lobby, you see, and everybody's 60 in X. And they don't have, like, any game history. You know, any rating at all, they just play it out and it, like, shows up on that special ladder. It's it's specially meant for tournaments. There are, like, two tournament lobbies and this one is specially the Nation Cup tournament lobby. Or Nation Cups. Clam chair. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. So we do have the restore guys, here we go to the last game, which... Which, which, which did actually have to be restored, but that's fine, we didn't miss anything at all. <laughs> yeah, indeed, and actually, yes, indeed. So, let's see, as I said already, Chris with the Spanish on the flank, that is quite a problem. On this side though, you can see Pike is playing in Spanish again, and he has the pocket, so he's gonna be pretty, pretty happy about this Spanish pocket. It's quite good to do have access to Paladins, you know, having the faster building helps, and also having the and the Conquistadors if needed. So pretty good civilization overall, having Kusar even as well, and Halberdier Skirmisher. So overall, nice tech tree from them. So let's see what do we actually have, and already we see Mento is taking in the sheep. We do see a lot of sheep in this lake which is shallows lake we do see it actually so we'll have to see how it goes at the end and yeah i mean we do have pike coming in here as well trying to find east sheep and he's gonna get him now so that's pretty good does help a lot do we see any laming happening not by the looks of it oh or is it oh billy's came with a villager he lamed the boar with the villager, he came forward with the villager as the Mayans and he lamed the boar from Slam, which is here, somewhere. Damn! Look at that, Billy's laming it, beautiful! Gonna be with triple boar, so you have second one and third one there, so that's quite quite good for him. Gonna be happy with that Slam, probably not that happy. He's playing as the Mongols, so I don't think it will be that big of an issue as the forward deer. But other than that, that is a nice situation to be in when you just lay him, have the free board, nobody's even touching you. <laughs> I'm just done right now. What the fuck? Guys are unbelievable. So, let's see, um, what else we have? What, what, what are you expecting, right? So definitely the main players. On this side we have Villies on the flank, he will probably be doing archers. Then we will have Max doing, you know, double stable hunts. We'll have double stable from Pike, and then we'll have Zupi going for the probably. I he could go for scouts. The distance is quite big, so 
could go for scouts in the fast skirmishers. On this side though, what will Chris do? I have no idea. He, he might try to get away with the Drudge Fast Castle, he does have nice gold. And he can kind of wall this up, but then again the tower will deny both of his golds and the third one's also forward. So the closest gold to him is going to be here, which is pretty much already mentalist. So he has to be careful and, you know, not fall in the tower trap, and because that will hurt a lot. So probably mental is going to go for plumed archers. I mean, that's quite, quite common with the May and Pocket. And then you will have Hera go for the double stable as well. So pretty good on that side. Already have Swam getting in the womb. So he might be able to click up already. And that's just Mongols being Mongols. And yes, he will. He has enough here and he will click up on... 20 population now. Zupi already clicking up though on 20 population as well. So, so I will follow three seconds behind. Six seconds behind, but damn. <laughs> so that is all good. Let's see now. Slam pushing into deer. That's completely fine. So let's see how they play it out. Let's see how this game. Will, I mean, we just saw amazing land maps. Let's, let's hope this one will be as amazing as the first two. Hopefully. So let's see, um, Chris getting loop now, so he might want to quick up on that 22 mark as well, but no barracks. Showing his greed? Nah, no, I don't think so. I think it's completely fine, because he has to deer down, so why not? Show he doesn't show his greed more than anything. Now, Zupi shows his greed, he's trying to push it there, but he just can't. He's messing up. Pushed one though, gonna push a second one in. So that will help him a lot. We always quicken up now on 23 as well, so that's completely normal from... The Mayans, we have Chris already up on the 22 mark. Is he dropping a barracks? No. Is he going forward? No. So he's going to be doing... Scouts? I think. Sam pushes the most game? Yep, he does. You guys didn't know that? Oh my god, you guys, you guys suck. What do you mean you didn't know that? What? Else? It's like the most interesting part. Look at this. You, you, you can follow their tracks. You, you, you can know where the scouts are going, dude. It's like it's like real life. No hair up to the feudal age. Here we go. He's gonna click up on 26. That's a very greedy build. That's a very greedy build. Look at that. 26 up gonna get the barracks now. Wow. Wow. Interesting. Now, here we go, stable from Chris, as I said, that was obvious, because he didn't do mm, the barrack fast enough for Mad Arm. Now, Swam, so gonna go for scouts as well. As I said, Billy's 4 and gold, that's the archer build, that is quite expected. Now, Max clicking up on 27, he'll actually be going for that. I think Harry even clicked out, no, he has to, how is he so far ahead? <gasps> oh! What do we see here? What do we see? Is that a dead body? Investigator Clavs on the case. So first thing we see is KD01. We do see the scout is still alive. What do we see? A dead body from the Max. And investigation completed. Max lost a villager to the boar. Bam. Inspector Gadget on duty. So let's see now Chris going for the scouts. We have Zupi already with double scout as well. So Chris trying to mirror out the scouts. That's gonna be quite okay. <laughs> So, let's see, Zupi gonna hit though, really really fast, already with a double scout, isolating one villager, oh, not focusing it though, so might lose a scout here now, yeah, taking a lot of unnecessary damage, still trying to go for it, but now Chris coming from the back with three scouts, he might capture him off guard, Slam already here with four now, nice quick walk from Zupi, coming out, oh, he's not gonna, oh, he did finish it, but now he's gonna go for the Wumber Camp, trying to run away from the spear, and I don't think Slam's gonna get it. Oh, he might be oh, very greedy, but lost the scout for that. Not ideal from Slam. And he's already dropping down the archery range, knowing that Luis is on double archers, so he needs to get those skirmishers out. Let's see what's happening on this side. Chris just chasing away Zupi right now. So that's all good. And nobody on Castle Edge yet, so. Hera. He's on 29 suddenly, so it made three villagers in the feudal age. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. Does Max ever get flank position? No. I'm sorry, he doesn't. No. 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 And now Max up to the castle age, so is Hera. Max, 30, uh, same villagers as Hera. 
And as you can see, it's like 15 seconds behind. Now Pike quick enough to the castaway as well now. So is Mento, it's 1633 from him as the main, but that's completely understandable. So Sam coming here with the scouts. He's gonna hit Max, and Max already kind of walled up a little bit. Harry's normal build. No! He did 26! He did 26 plus 3! You're drunk! No, you're drunk. He did 26 plus 3. So let's see now, Swam is with 4 scouts, he's gonna try to hit Max a little bit, Not, don't think he's gonna achieve much already, one spirit coming out, so that's fine. Let's see what's happening on this side though, Chris, yeah, they're, kind of, they're kind of dancing around with the scouts, and Blippi gonna go, come back and try to defend on this side, now one spear is here as well from him, so he will be fine. Let's see what's happening on this side, uh, what's happening on here, well, where are the Swam scouts, okay they're here. And now finally archers from Belize, but Slam already here with a double archery of his own, has five skirmishers. So <laughs> So that is completely fine. Yeah, he even tried look at that, he tried to hit Hera, but Hera's full walled beautiful from where he's double stable right now. Gonna go for that hunt aggression, he will definitely pick this up if he's lucky. And might even see skirmishers. Yep, here we go. Skirmishers deployed. He wants to hit as much as he can and get the damage done. Now, Chris with a lot of scouts. Chris is one of those guys. He likes to go on those aggressive feudal ages. And that is just old school. He's old school. He likes those all in skirms, all in scouts, you know, what bad game styles. We don't really see that much it, from it nowadays, but. In a 1v1, obviously, I think he's pretty good. I mean, he might get this one though, but other than that. These scouts might go down, he does have bloodline, so that is good. Now Billy is going past Slam, so that is a pretty nice play, but now scouts here. Billy is did a wall. Era saying a dot. Why did he say a dot? I have no idea. Ooh, let's see. Yeah, Chris still dancing around. Not actually much though. You can see already Zuppi is up. And Chris is gonna be way behind because he went so heavy into those knights. I mean, uh, not knights, scouts. I don't know what the ping is there though. So, I mean, he didn't do a much. I mean, he's still trying to dance around here. Already have Max with double stable. Uh, double stable as well. So that is pretty good. Okay, let's see what's happening. Chris, oh, up to the castle. It's only one, only half a minute later, so it's not, bi uh, not that big of a deal. And let's see, let's see. I mean, it will definitely go in the castle, but now they're gonna double Hera. Hera is wall. The DC is here as well, getting the third one down now. But pff, this might be interesting. Yeah, Billy's is gonna go back now, so the call was to go back. Not really sure what that is all about. Oh, but Hera is here, is close. Dewey's could definitely snap these up if he wants to. Chris even getting plus one armor now on those scouts. Where are they though? Looks like he didn't get actually cleaned up. Oh no, he's still dancing around here trying to hit Max. Oh, but Sam is inside, he's gonna kill, kill villagers. How did that happen? Sam so gonna snap out some villagers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, look at that, killing two wheels with the scouts, beautiful from him. That is very, very nice. Now, swam quick, look at, just, just look at the villager difference. Look at the villager difference. Swam is up, 40 villagers to 34, and he's up. Like, just shows why his name is Swam, not, you know, Ham or whatever. It just shows, it's just, just beautiful, man. It's just beautiful. This double stable as well, he will go for those full knights by the looks of it, not, not taking any stone, and that's completely fine. Let's see now, Billy's coming in with his archers, yeah, he's clicking up now, but he's so, five villagers behind, and the castle is already bad. Oh my god. Can you guys stop talking about beer? Unbelievable. Just watch the game. Ooh, now Slime coming here as well. Hey, he might catch his off guard, but Hera might be out of position. He needs plus one ASAP. He really needs plus one ASAP right now. And 
uh, you can see that he, he like you want to take the fight with the archers if you're a slam, but you don't want to die to those plus one knights already. Now they're gonna go and actually go together. Here we go. But Hera has way more knights, obviously. He has 12 military compared to Max has nine, so he has more knights indeed. And let's see. Ooh. Yeah, they're gonna chase him down. Not sure if he's gonna cheat much. Uh, here we go, though. even Plume Archers coming out from Mento is so nice, Teamwork, they really want to catch these and these Archers might get catched. Now Ma Max going for the fight, they're gonna completely go for this fight, Billy's is trying to kite this knight as much as he can, not even killing one knight. Almost Castle Edge though, but here we go, Mento is coming in now, he might do a lot of damage with these Plume Archers. Slam, Crossbow, Bonkin, Tumbling, Bolso. Four upgrades at the same time incoming from our slam boy. University being dropped. He's on 1 TC by the looks of it. Yeah, gonna go 1 TC all in. Let's see if he can pull the damage on this side. Chris also playing pretty good against, against Zupi already. Knights coming out like crazy. And Zupi going for crossbow actually. And Pike is actually booming. 60 villagers compared to 63 from Mentois. So still not in a that good a position. Ooh, damn. Pretty, pretty interesting so far, you know, everybody's in the castle edge, the scores are pretty close, but looks like Canada are playing a little bit better so far, I mean, nice teamwork here from Mentos as well, allowing Chris to 1v2 Zupi right now, and Pike. Now, here we go, Pike coming to help finally, they do signal that they do need help, and the 3v2 is real right now. But damn, that will be interesting to watch. Yeah, I totally agree, Maximus. It's just one of those things, right? Nice, one or already one night going down from Pike. That is very, very good. Let's see now, Max. Yeah, kind of with the her dancing around here a little bit. But he's coming in with the crossbowman, so. Ooh, but the pull out in position. Ooh, he's gonna snipe, but there's so many of these crossbows. He can't really kill that. Bloodlines plus two incoming from Hera now. Max, Bloodlines already done, but no plus two, so not really having an advantage on that. <laughs> Ooh, but now. Yeah, they're putting some more harassment on Vilis. Vilis on 2TC already, but still, that's quite a lot of quite a lot of harassment now. Ooh, gonna go back. Here we go. Oh, but now look at Chris, Kill and Zupi. Zupi, like there's no tomorrow. Zupi losing four builders. Okay, might lose only two because I'm gonna lose yeah two because he doesn't want to take that much arrow fire. But he's on plus two. He actually could have dove that. There's no knights at all, so they're pretty much letting Chris one v two right now on that side. Well, Pike coming to help here, but only with the plus two. So is Hera though. We have double crossbow and no way we should fight. No way we should fight. Just get back. No, get back. No, don't fight that Pike. He's, he's not gonna win with that. So much archers in the back from Team Canada and now Zupi coming in chasing with the crossbow but look at the dive from Chris he is showing us why he's the old school pro dude dude look at him diving 15-8 KDA he's killing everyone right now Slam also done 2 TC he's gonna drop the third one soon he's going on stone now as well so that's pretty good now crossbowman from Billy is finding it out here, we got huge TV3 fight, who's gonna win this from Billy's a lot of knights, we do have Pike coming in as well, we got Max and definitely gonna get cleaned up, no plumed archers from Mentos whatsoever and with the double knights obviously going to surpass and now definitely gonna get Max Slam gonna get cleaned up and Hera obviously do, do have some knights but he can't outmass Max and Pike. And good fight from Finn and going to secure this ground once more, huge TV3 fight. Damn, huge 3v3 fight from these guys happening. Just amazing. Now, but now, Mentalist, 50% up. Barracks coming out. He's gonna go for the Eagle Flood. And 31 minutes is pretty common for Mayans. 31 minutes Imperial from Mayan. That is quite common. And that's gonna be a huge, huge play. Now we have the crossbow from you. He's finally cleaning it up. Max doesn't have a lot of knights. But still get even Chris putting on some pressure. And look at villager difference. Everybody like 97 from uh, Mentois compared to Pike 90. So that's pretty close. We got Swam versus Vilis. 10 villager difference. Not even 10. Barely 5-6. We have Hera 93 towards, uh, towards Max 87. So he's actually quite at actually. Yeah, Hera. Only one with a really nice uh, villager lead right now. He's on, uh, he, yeah, he's almost 10 villagers at 96 towards 87 from the max, so 
Hera playing is pretty good now, and Max is up to the Imperial though. Hera going for more Castaway Knights by the looks of it. Let's see how they play. Oh, but now look at Mento is getting dough by Pike. Not gonna get more than few villagers here. That is really not good. Oh, what is going on? Look at him getting cleaned up completely. Now double stable from Pike here. Gonna corner these as well. But he might lose a lot of villagers here though. Yeah, that is a little bit unfortunate. Dropping below 80 villagers. We got Chris as well raiding like crazy. Oof, just painful right now, and Canada are looking pretty good so far. Mento is getting out of the Elite Eagle Warrior immediately once he clicks up. That is very, very nice upgrades. And now Zupi coming with the Water Crossbow, and this might get cleaned up by Ten Eagle Warriors in the next two minutes as well. Canada is quite, quite at the end. That is true. So let's see if. But that was also game one. That was also game one, and then Max carried. So let's see if Max can carry again. So let's see now, here we go, a lot of crossbowmen though from Swam and from Hera, the lead is also up to the Imperial so I think that that might be very huge but now these, these crossbow have to go back, no way, they, they should X, Chris, 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 yeah that is true, very different situation, yeah, uh, why isn't I bringing 10 crossbow to clean this up, that would be so huge, I mean 10 eagle warriors, damn. Really questionable choices there for Mentos. I think he should have went to clean it up. But now Swam is up and Chris is up. Hera's still not up, but he's all in Castle Age. Ooh, okay, let's see. Did they go for the dime actually? Max already mirroring with the with the knights, and he's gonna be Imperial now. And he has a lot of knights incoming, so that's gonna be huge. Because Hera is not clicking up. I don't know how he's not clicking up. He should be clicking up though. Look at that. Now a huge fight happening, it looks like we have a pause now, maybe a tactical pause coming out? What do you mean guys, what do you mean? Why are you guys discussing that in the chat? Why do people always start to discuss that? It's all your fault Belgium, you always start this shit. Every time Belgium, I'm not even kidding. It's always you who starts this shit man. Tactical D does, yeah, beer break. <laughs> They're probably just discussing, I don't know, maybe somebody dropped, I'm not sure. But look at that, like, is Hera even up? Like, close to up? Oh my god. Look at this eco. Ugly. Doesn't have anything at all, let's see how many he has. He has knights queued up on his table. Having last one rip. Oh, you don't need to pull up a political discussion, Belgium, I'm just saying. Okay, now Chris, yeah, he's gonna be Imperial as well, so that's gonna be pretty huge. Ooh. Yeah, where is you? Yep. Please? Please? Another pause? Uh, resident pausing. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna start time outing people. Just drop it, guys, come on. Why can't we enjoy ch uh, chat? Oh yeah, but why in my channel? Now here we go with two is you in the game guys, so let's get back in the game. Max losing a lot though, Swam with a lot of crossbow man. Harry obviously with the castle edge knight is pretty nice. Pretty nice for him now. Billy is gonna get pushed back on the crossbow man as well. And yeah, Swam is going pretty heavy. He's also gonna be cast Imperial Witch right after Billy, so that's gonna be quite huge now. Billy's dropping defensive castle. And the villager difference is 10, so not that big of a deal since May uh, is cheaper. But now the Elite Eagle's on the way, he's gonna do a lot of harassment. Crossbows actually were the crossbows. Where are the crossbows? Oh, he went back. Okay, here we go. So he went back. Harris the weak wing in Canada team? I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. He's playing good. I don't think he's playing bad. I mean, do you guys think he's playing bad? I don't think so. And to one game. Uh, the first game they lost, I mean, that was... Okay, so somebody did drop. Okay, let's go back. So somebody dropped, guys. Yeah, we're gonna have a restore. Which map is this called? It's Ghostwake. Looks like we're gonna have a restore.
Oh man, these drops feels bad. <sighs> nah, the game's not over. What do you mean? The game is not even close to over. What are you saying? Max wrecked him. He didn't even do anything. He's getting pushed back right now on Vilui's base. What are you saying? The game's over. What? The game's as even as it gets at this point. Zuppi's behind. You know, so. Yeah, I think Canada actually is at a better position as well because Zuppi's quite behind. Guys, can you stop? Never show. Can you stop discussing stuff. God. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. It's just not normal. Oh man. Should have a live chat we could discuss point of shit. <laughs> uh, what is the PPC index from Latvia? What? What do you mean? I have no idea what you mean right now. Ah, uh, they have FP issues. You can discuss point of shit everywhere. Yeah, but that's the thing, his point was. And I'm fine with you discussing it while I'm playing, but when I'm casting, it's just annoying. Wow. So what do you think about Kelt Carry Archers? It's amazing, dude. It's amazing. Well, it's hopefully gonna restore fast. I'm I, I, I wanna see like really close to just going to making the coffee now, but I wanna watch the game for obviously. I don't even know what that is, I'm not even gonna open that wing. Guys, just don't open that wing. Okay, so... Looks like they did, they did have a crash, we should have to restore soon and... I wanna see where that game goes. <laughs> Too late. Only make you angry? I'm not even gonna open it. Pro I probably should uh, start making rules about not opening, not posting links, not talking about certain stuff. But you know, typically it doesn't happen. It's just always somebody has to start some conversation for no reason at all. Feels bad, man. Well, I'm gonna go get some coffee. Be right back. I'm gonna go heat some water, really.
Okay, so they did launch. Here we go. Okay, wait, what did I miss? Yeah, still talking shit to each other. Oh, looks like we're gonna get in the game shortly. I'm gonna go after my coffee for like two minutes later on, but... Ah, oh, man, you guys are unbelievable. Chad just keeps getting worse. Here we go guys, so we're back. We are back. Oh, sorry, I was just closing the door. Whew. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Um, so let me just do this so we can see the upgrades. Okay, it's still broken by the fit. We're not gonna see the upgrades that are happening, by the way. So, yeah, Chris is also Imperial now, we see Kyle Ring coming from being played, Barning, two months all. So that is pretty, pretty good, and... Let's see what is happening. So I'm still trying to push, and this guy will probably go down from the least, though. He's, he's already Imperial, but so is Slam. So let's see if that's gonna make the difference. Now Max is pre preparing the Cavalry push, quite kind of dealing with the Eagles here, and... Yeah, the Eagles are gonna be really annoying, he's spamming all across the place right now. Already killing this here from Zupi, and Zupi can't even stop this right now. That's gonna be very, very painful. Now let's see Maximum with the Cavalry on this side. We got Knights from Hera here, he's trying to kind of uh, camp it out, but he's gonna be completely harassed by this Cavalry soon, he must see this coming. Gonna have to pull back. Or, okay, he's already pulling back, here we go, he's already pulling back, his army he knows it's coming. Gonna probably change all your points of these and try to fight out this cavalier. Yeah, he's trying to wall. Oh, oh, he's trying to wall as much as he can, but <sighs> ooh, if that was like a house, and he would have quadrupled it. That would be huge. Now we're gonna get all raided by this a little bit. Going to be painful, but now Arbo is from Sam already out. Probably Arbo is thinking coming from Billy as soon as he has the eco for it. By the looks of it, now Hera is up to the cavalier. Max getting bowed in though again. He's getting at Paladin, but look at this side! Zupi is dead! Zupi is Imperial, but he's dead! He is completely dead. Chris also up in Paladin! So look at that, Max, Chris up in Paladin, even though Chris is the flank. Chris is playing this so good right now. Carrying Canada, Canada to the limits right now. Here we go, Pike with the Cavalry, though, trying to mirror it up, but Zupi is completely dead and Canada looking so good right now. Like, we see Max trying to put on some rating, but Supi is just completely demolished now. I don't see Pike, Pike pulling this one back, to be honest. Also, Pike quite low on Vildur, same with Vilis. On this side, Swam already on Magadai as well, he's killing the castle now. We got Hera everywhere with the Cavalier, and this might be Finwin calling a GG soon. Unless they can pull it back, because Max is definitely not putting the harassment he should be. Yeah, and... Wow, looks like it actually was a fast win as we see from that spoiler there, but damn. Looks like they're gonna actually pull it back. Yeah, it looks like Canada gonna get the 2 2 they wanted. And here we go, Zupi calls it. So 2 2. Canada gonna come back from hell, guys. Wow. That was a fast restore. It kind of feels like a fast game, you know, we already had the beginning of it. But damn, Canada gonna pull it back, and look at that. 2 2. So close series, every, 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 everybody said Finwin is gonna stop, I said nah, nah, Canada has a chance, and we can see. Is that, yes it is, it's 2-2 two, two, guys.